Hey, little girl, did you want to know a secret? I got five on it. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, everybody, it's me, Remy the Comic Book Poser, and welcome to an impromptu auction that somehow we decided I was the most adult of the crew uh, to be able to sell some shit, or uh, everybody was like, Poser has trash books, he'll host an auction. And we'll make some money. Both of those statements may be true. Uh, it may be six of one, half dozen the other, but who knows. Uh, so we're looking to have some uh, fun this evening. Uh, I'll shout out everybody in the chat uh, as we get going throughout the night. I know we're starting a couple minutes late because we're waiting uh, for the folks who literally hopped off of AMKM's uh, show about Kate's and crossover and then landed over here. So we'll get things going. So I figure I will give you the uh, shortened version of the rules uh, as you've heard everybody uh, mumble them in an auction before. Number one, you've got to be at least 18 to buy because uh, we're probably going to sell some pretty fucked up things. And I have no content regulation from my mouth. So things here will get me fired that I say on the internet. Uh, number two, payment is expected within uh, 24 hours as soon as you are announced as the winner of your uh, auction, uh, your claim, your whatever it is between the buyer and the seller in terms of working out some kind of timeline for payment. Uh, Instagram seems to be the way that we all communicate with each other. So as long as you all stay in contact with each other, that makes my life uh, a hell of a lot easier. Right now, we've got eight people who are uh, joining us to sell this evening, so I will bring them in in the order that they popped in the green room so I don't have to uh, screw everything up, and I will give each seller uh, you know, a few seconds to describe what it is that they have up for auction, and then I will... Uh, Start a timer for, for three minutes. Uh, no bids until I drop a starting line. And I think that's about everything. So I'm now going to mass add everybody. And they can all just kind of say hi and wave as the screen continues to get infinitely smaller as everybody gets pieced into the screen or we see all kinds of different things. So here's everybody and their mom who will be selling some goodies tonight. Uh, throughout the show. So leading us off <laughs> this evening is the one, the only Batman popster. What's going on, guys? All right, Sean, what you got for the good people? Uh, I got a couple of, like, Bat or DC and Marvel lots. Um, I do want to first say thank you guys for what you're doing. And I appreciate it. I've been trying to get into doing this, but life gets in the way sometimes and you know, go with the flow sometimes but i got a couple uh i got a batman lot of course to start off with um it's just for the current run it's just the filler. i'm gonna start this off at ten dollars it's a seven it's seven books it's kind of pieced them together so you got batman 62 batman 72 we got Batman, I think it's 70, 82, 82. Batman 83. I think this is my 85. Number 85. Sick Joker cover at 95. And Catwoman at 96. So. All right, so we got starting line $10 for seven books. Here it comes. Show them one more time here. That's not noise. This is noise. This is noise. Noise, noise, noise. In a few seconds, we'll see if I uh, successfully figured out how to play some 
background music through StreamYards without making everybody go deaf or washing out everybody's voices. So we'll see what's going on. Lovely. Right now, nobody's firing a shot at filling in some holes right. in the pre-Tiny Onion run of, of Batman. These are some clean, clean, clean looking books. Wait, what number is that one? Is that the first... Uh... Is that first uh, Arkham Knight? Mm, this one. Arkham Knight is 101, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I just couldn't remember. But that's I, I, that's another dope cover that I liked. Yeah. I went through all these earlier, and it's just like doubles that I had. I mean, if anybody's trying to fill a run, I mean. That one is badass. Yeah. I mean, they're all, I mean. Really clean. That's hard germ, right? Yeah. The germ of art. Not gonna lie. Art germ, one of the best artists. Top top five of this of this year. We got just under ninety seconds left on the clock. A hey, Honda Jabroni hopped over from, from AM's chat over there, as did Popeye. My man Deadpool's is in here. Every time this guy throws up a mystery box or something like that on uh, Instagram, y'all should check him out because he's got good, good stuff. I just opened my third one, and it was a big old pile of X-Men books, which made me happy. My dudes from Comic Burrito are here. I'm wearing their hat today. Uh, so, yeah. And then we've got members of the panel in here. We've got Flash Ray. Thanks for swinging on in here. No bad. Yeah, but it looks like we got 45 seconds. People can sneak in at the last minute and pick up some hot books for 10 bucks. Hey, DJ Lynx, thank you. Evening, my my favorite Canadian mother-daughter team of what did dad have by today. And uh, oh, Lost Comic Kid, yeah, you can't buy anything because you're 11, but I've got people who are sending some sweet things uh, to you here in a bit. America's favorite letterer, Justin Birch, is in the house. Honda Jabroni. We'll see if it's badass or if it's it's ass. I'm going to try and be good and chatty tonight. Oh, we got Lisa Noble in the house. I need to uh, click over to YouTube and see if she'll do some wrenching duties because she is the greatest wrenches of all wrenches. And then we've got Foil, who likes turtles. So sad, sad, sad trombone noise. Nobody loved some... Uh, some Batman, so I'm going to drop an end line. And if nobody hops in before it shows up on the YouTube end, then we will move on to the next seller. Appreciate it. All right. Next up, taking the stage. It's Tricky Trapster. What's going on, friend? How are you, man? Uh, I'm all good. Uh, you guys can follow me at Tricky Trapster on my Instagram. I also have a YouTube channel with a couple videos on it uh, surrounding original comic art. Uh, so thanks for having, thanks for hosting this. I appreciate it. Uh, so I got a Lobo lot today. We got Lobo uh, portrait of a victim one. We got yeah. Lobo one. Uh, it's a foil cover. So here's sorry, the first issue of this. This is the first issue of this where he's pointing at his shiny junk. We like that. We got Lobo is back issue one. These are all in really nice condition. Lobo is back issue two. And before Lobo left, he had a mini series. So we have issue one through four. Uh, these are double bagged in brand new uh, Silver Age uh, bags. One through four of Lobo. So we have a nice Lobo lot starting at $10. Um, you know, I think these will be like eight or nine dollars to ship. That's uh, how many books? Sorry, I was answering a one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight books. Eight books. All right. So we got. All issue one, well, issue ones, uh, three issue ones, and then some uh, some runs. So issue one of the shiny junk, issue one of this uh, in particular, issue one and two of Lobo is back, and one through four of Lobo. Nice. It's a good lot. It's a nice little go lot. To, go to the Lobo's back? Yeah. Lobo is back, issue one. I get it because we're looking at Lobo's back. And then Lobo's, Lobo's 
back issue two. She's a uh, I don't know what the hell going on. <laughs> Get it. Really action. We've got that strong arm for you guys who need a little extra. <laughs> so I had to let Evan in, which made you small screen. That friggin' issue. He says, I got your cover enhancement right here, and he's pointing at his foil junior junk. Nice. Nice logo. And he's no, no spawns in those issues. All right. So far, no, no love. Uh, let's see. Anybody got any spawn? 171 to 215. I bet Foiled's got enough copies of Spawn 10 hey, to add up to 171 to 215. I'm already <laughs> adding. I'm already. Uh, I'm already having people uh, DM me on on IG for them. So I'll be selling 10 copies during the auction tonight. But I'll, I'll talk more about it. Yeah. Let's, let's give Tricky his full Lobo's back. Back oh, issue. Man. Lobo's back back issue. Get it? <laughs> I just want a jacket that says bite me. Honestly, Fan that jacket they... that jacket does look dope. <laughs> what does it say underneath that? Does it say fan bun? Fan bite boys. me fan boy. Yeah. Okay. Bite me fan boy. Nice. Yeah, Fan I want board. that jacket. This is uh, suggested for mature grown-ups, and this one's suggested for mature... Uh, you know, this one's mature readers, and this one's mature grown-ups. I don't nice. know that it's, uh, why they... Uh... Yeah. Because not everybody right, who can read is a grown-up. That's right. All right, we got just under a minute, folks, to come in and uh, get a good deal on some sweet, sweet Lobo-ass action. Love or I guess ass. there's crotch on there's yeah. shiny crotch, so that's got foiled na foiled's name all over it. <laughs> Man or woman? Uh, whatever you prefer, cat. It's a cat. It, <laughs> it could be a man looking like a woman, and I know that you'll be happy. <laughs> it's not the first time that he's made that mistake. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but he's I live up to it. Yeah. All right, we got just about 10 seconds, yeah, everybody. The one, he's the one who's dressing up. It's other people making a mistake. Sometimes nice. I just say it was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> after, right. you're, after you're finished. And, then, right, the wife, and then the wife gets mad and, you know, it's all big thing. That's the, that's the timer. Appreciate so it. unless somebody throws some, some $10 in there. Let me know later if you guys want to. Online hits. Yeah, we're here. Tricky Traps are up on Instagram. His information is in the description of the video. So next, coming up to the stage is the man who is the recipient of my coochie cootie oh, and no. potentially diabetes. Yes. Cat60, what's going on? What's going on, guys? All right, so I got a weird one. Uh, New Avengers Civil War 25. Um, this is signed by Mr. James Chung, who is English with a Chinese name. So um, I'm going to start this off at $15. There is a um, actually notarized that uh, they witnessed this guy sign it. So there right. you go. Here is your starting line, $15 for the New Avengers Civil War signed with a COA that is notarized. I'll be back in two seconds. I'm going to grab a nice, strong drink called water. Nice. His grandma right, I'm going to click over and see if I can make my uh, random lo-fi hip-hop station thing that is uh what is it royalty free music see if that works and if it doesn't wash everybody out i did spend like 20 minutes trying to find the exact playlist that meta had just so i could sing along with it the whole time but, but oh my god was... thank god you didn't find that <laughs> I wanted to hear it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That's, I thought that was Cat 60's mix. Yeah, man. Yeah. 
Uh, can you all hear it in the background? No. Hmm. I can yeah. start. I can hear something. I mean, I don't hear anything that's uh, disruptive. If you wanted to turn it up a little bit more, that would be okay. Can you hear it now? Yeah. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? All right, we're we got ninety seconds left, and still, still no love for some new Avengers twenty five. I just it's think kind. there's no love. If they're not throwing out things that you want, folks, there in the chat, let us know what you are looking for, and I'm sure someone will find something that you are interested in. Like whoever was asking about the spawn, we know that Foiled was, was all over hunting those down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been out of it all day with the uh, time time change because fallback is my favorite time of year, but my damn kids ruin it because they're I'll like, "Ah, oh, we will wake you up," and it's <laughs> earlier, and it's like, "I hate you. Why did I give donate sperm for three of you to exist?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 30 seconds left, y'all. This is why we had him do the auction. Yeah. <laughs> Anything goes. One, well, since the last time I was in an auction and wild on all kinds of substances, none of them my legal anxiety medicine, <laughs> I've got some new meds that are keeping me leveled out a little bit better. So we'll see. So the if I'm just obscene of... at bay. The Tourette's are kind of leveled out, huh? Yeah. I am dropping an end line, and if nobody throws a $15 in there, then we will move on. Or you can hit up my man, Cat60, on the Instagram. Uh, yeah, Cole, people can send some pickles in their comics uh, for you if that's what you want. All right, so coming up next, another – I think this is a first appearance for everybody in here on my channel – uh, the Collector's Den. What you got going on for the good people tonight? Hey, everybody. First of all, I want to thank you, Poser, for uh, setting this up. And we're going to start off with this Jim Lee lot that I got. Nice. Some Jim Lee goodness. These are all, some of them are very fine, very good. All by the, by the man Jim Lee. Can you guys see them very good? Yep. All right. See. I'm gonna start this one off at uh six dollars. Got some cool covers, some nice Jim Lee action. So they all vary from very good, very fine. Um, probably a little bit better, some some more than others. How much you start this at? Six bucks. Six dollars. Five yeah. penny increments. Six doll hairs. Did you get some opposed substance? What was that? I said, did you get any poser substance? You're starting at crazy low. Yeah, I figured that uh, I'm gonna do little things a little different. Start off at uh, you know, a little lower than usual because uh. It's Sunday, and I want to give the comic people out there an opportunity yeah. to grab some stuff. And I, I like this cover right here. So six mm -hmm. bucks for these. And how, many, how many books was that? Seven? I was trying to count along. Yeah, about uh, seven of them. No, six. Okay. Here comes your starting line, everybody. For some Jim Lee goodness, some X Men, a sweet Wolverine cover. Yeah, I know that Wolverine. Uh, my favorite, actually. Looks like there are some nice buy it nows up there, so I'm sure we'll find out what they are once he gets everything out in a pretty line. Yeah, that's a uh, Marvel Watch number one or Silver Surfer 100. Sorry about the glare. This it is very fun. rare to get in a 9.8. I don't think there's 
any out there on eBay or anything. Nice. This one's a little bit high end. This one's at 300. And then for Prince of Jubilee, I got at $65. Only problem with this one is uh, I'm starting to, I'm um, giving it for 65 because it has a scratch on the back and it's mm. it has to get re-slabbed. Yeah, but how much does re-slabbing cost? Like 20 bucks. I mean, at a first appearance, and it's at a 9.6? Yeah, 9.6, 65. So press and clean could potentially be a 9.8. Yeah, it could be, it, it's, it, I don't think it's been uh, pressed or cleaned either, so See that has thing. potential. And also, um, here's the bin it now, a Batman, Silver Age. Nice. Uh, first appearance of Lord Deathman. Mm. This one's uh, 65 bucks, if anybody's interested. So, uh, how many people we got? How many people we got in the chat? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Already. This Jim Lee stick right here. Oh. Everyone, invite one person. Jim Lee. Get someone in here that you know loves Jim Lee. This is Absolutely. a pickle bangers all the way from the UK. This is an insane, out to the toys. insane set of dollar books. All right, we're just under 90 seconds. What is that? Eight and nine, bro. Captain, Captain Comics is in the house. Who is? Captain Comics. I'm sorry, one more time? Cabin? Cap Captain Comics. Yeah. I don't think I heard you guys correctly. <laughs> Foiled, I'm going to drive to Florida and punch you in the dick. Do it. We're just under a minute left. Let me know. I was going to say you don't have my address, but I literally just got your books in here. The other yeah. <laughs> you don't remember my address. Some Silver Age Batman. We have 30 seconds left. All right, the timer's about to go off. Like I said, if there's something you're looking for specific, let let us know in the chat. But that's that's the time. Here comes the end line. So unless I see a bib pop in before my end line does, then we're good. And I'm baffled that that one has gone by. Uh, that's a uh, Silver Age Batman. Uh, Collectors, you want to answer this question? Oh, yeah. Let me see. What issue number is it? What condition? It's uh, number 180. First appearance of Lord Deathman. Uh, condition, I want to say it's probably very fine. You know, it's a silver age. It displays well. Everything intact. So if you're interested, no, no creases, um, just a very good book overall. All right. If you are interested, hit him up on Instagram. I'm going to move over to our next seller, the man with oven mitts and more spawn tens than I have money in my bank account. Foiled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, so give me two seconds. I just got to run through this, make sure. Okay. <clears throat> Let me move these out of the way. And I believe this is the right box. Uno momento por favor. Yep, the right box. Okay. So. 
Whoa. All righty, folks. Let's, um, let's go ahead and, you know, we're just going to throw these up as buy it now. So, in honor of Spawn 10, I'm selling 10 Spawn 10s tonight. I'm $10 a piece. If you want two, I'll do 15. If you want three, I'll do 20. Anything more? Um, you can ask me about and we'll see. But that's what it's going to be. I'm going to put up 10 for sale tonight. 10 for sale. Spawn 10s. Minty, minty. Um, yeah. I'm only selling 10 tonight. These are buy it nows. Let me know. These will be on sale the whole night, but I'm only selling 10. That's it. 10 is it. If you want all 10, what? Let's do, hmm. Let's do what? 50, 55 bucks for the whole, all 10. But you guys, come on. I mean, spawn 10s, they're going out of control already. You see the ash can. You see the reprints they're doing. All these different things. I believe this a uh, what? There's a Patreon thing for more. Um, but yeah, ten bucks a piece. Let me know. It's ten spawn tens tonight. That is my. That is my dealio. Did you say ten spawn ten? Yes, in honor of spawn ten, I am selling ten spawn ten. And then how much a piece? You got that question in the chat. You said ten dollars a piece. Fifteen for two. 20 for three and then if you want more than that let me know we'll talk so 10 a piece and chat with him on instagram and it will go down if you buy in bulk yes if you want to buy in bulk i do have quite the quite the selection but um but for now yeah we're gonna stick all right i'll buy a new say what would you say i'll go ahead and claim a newsstand for the ten dollars Okay, you're funny. I only have one newsstand out of my whole thing. That is not a lie. I literally only have one newsstand. And I'm planning on sending it off to CGC. Thank you so much. That was all for my opinion. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, CGC is the city in Oklahoma. <laughs> is that it? Is that all you got going right now? Is that you've got no? I'm throwing, I'm throwing out my auction. I'm throwing out my okay. auction right now. I'm um, sorry, I had to do that. Um, there was a lot of questions, and uh, don't yeah, forget I, 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 hands for ten dollars. Yeah, totally. Um, I'm just looking up the info on this because I don't want to give misinfo. Um, okay, here we go. So right now we have Tales of the Jedi: The Sith War, number one through six, two. Three, four, five, six. Yes. So, Tales of the Jedi, the Sith War, one through six. Pretty dope. Um, and for the info, um, number one is the first appearance of Mandalore, the ultimate. Uh, Mandalorian Warlord, and then number six is First Appearance of Mandalore, the Ultimate, the successor of Mandalore, the Indomitable. It's a little weird, two first appearances of the same character. It's a little bit interesting, but, you know, it is what it is, and uh, we'll you take what it is. Um, ten bucks. Okay. Ten bucks. Ten you bucks two, for six. You get two keys in here. That's some Dark Horse Star Wars goodness. So I got the timer starting now. Those are dope. My wife would love to color cover color in the cover. You could do yeah. that. Color in one of those spawn tens and film it for my buddy Wet Comics, who uh, finds his new unique ways to review books. But That'd yeah. be a good one to give give foiled a, a coronary. Spawn tens, one for ten, two for Okay, hold on. Let me Oh Okay, here we go. There's the poison ivy everyone wants. But yeah, starting off ten bucks. You get two keys in here. Two keys. 
And uh, they're pretty dope covers. I don't know who did it. But that one's my favorite. That's my absolute favorite of this. Right, uh, we're just, just under a minute gone off the timer. The Sith War. But yeah. Oh, and serious inquires only, please. Um, that means not you, J1. <laughs> Get it? Because no, I'm kidding. Um, no, I, I'm even less. Uh, I, I'm the most childish one. I think we all can admit that. Yes. But um, <laughs> I'm doing a buy it now for um, two seventy five on these. These are Star Wars Dark Horse. This has four keys in it. Um, there are some newsstands, which would be that. There are zero of these listed on the eBay, and there are five on the CGC census. Does not clarify newsstand or not. I highly doubt it. These are only found in bookstores, such as Barnes & Noble, if you need an example. But that is the first appearance of Yaddle, a female uh, version of Yoda species. And then we have number 17. There are none of these in the CGC census. Minty copy, newsstand. This is first appearance of Quinlan Boss, which is rumored to be in um, some Disney Plus series. Um, but there's only one listing of this on eBay. They're asking 200 I'm not. I'm asking 250 for the whole shebang. You get four keys, you get newsstands, and you get that 13 where there's nothing on eBay and there's only five in the CGC census. And it doesn't clarify newsstand or not. So in these uh, newsstands are getting harder and more expensive. So yeah, right. 275 Buy it now. All right. That was, that was time. What? I'm going to drop an end line and Burke is might <laughs> indicate why you things a may be a little slow tonight as there are a lot of auctions going on. I don't care. I ours is the best because we're all funny as shit. I shamelessly plugged in the chat on Strictly. It's like hilarious. This is nice. the place. This is the place for adult content. Exactly. Yes. And foiled. Yeah. And it's truly an affordable auction. Yeah. Foiled. Yeah. You got the you got the you got the most spitty eyebrows over here. The most what? Uh, spitty? There's like so much spit in your eyebrows right now. Oh, facts. It's moist. <laughs> the moist All right, now that we're done right. talking about Foiled's eyebrows, Evan, welcome <laughs> to the stream. Thank what do you, you got going on? Me? We have a buy it now of a cage one through thirteen lot. Oh this my god! This is going to be uh twelve dollars. Buy it now. Classic. All right, but over here we got Thor. We got an eight book builder lot. We got as the last two books, two ninety three and two ninety four, which are two minor keys. First cameo of his appearance of Vidar, half brother of Thor, son of Odin, and the first cameo appearance of Magini and Modi, sons of Thor. So we got these here. These were going at the end. We're going to start off with these two books at $5. For every and $5, how? we'll add another two books. We have eight. All right, so here comes your starting line. $5 build a lot. Every five bucks adds two more books up to eight books. And yep. correct me if I'm wrong. If they drop the 40 bomb, they get the two keys. Uh, yeah. All righty. So, no. so 25 dollars to get the keys. Yeah, cause wow. I'll do five, ten, fifteen, then I'll do twenty and twenty-five. For every two, will be five dollars. Okay, so at oh, twenty-five, you get keys, guys. Um, Thor keys. bronze, all bronze. And he's throwing you a trophy in your package, a bronze trophy. You're not at silver or gold, but you'll definitely get a <laughs> yes, All right, Toppy, is that a bid? Are you finally our first bid of the night? Five doll hairs. What up, Pete? Pete. 
P P P. Sweet little P. Five doll hairs. Toppy is. Can you let us know if that is a for real for real bid? By don't typing forget, in guys. the number five. And uh, don't forget, guys, smash the like button, subscribe. And congrats to Poser on hitting 500. Big milestone. So once we hit 10, fill these in. Tapia, please confirm. Please confirm that $5 was, in fact, a bid. He said no, sir. No. Sorry. No. Shame on you, Tapia. It's all good. You, it's all good. Why it? Why you got to get us excited about our first bid good. in like four days? It's Party foul. Guys. Facts. You have been disqualified. <laughs> Under review of your comment, it is considered no good. Much like the Patriots. Again, we also oh. have 1 through 13 for $12. Shame. Exactly like the Cowboys, though. Pig facts. For thirty-seven dollars, you could get twenty dope ass books. Yeah. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. I can't do math. That's why I teach government because they can't do math either. What's up, newbie? All right, we got forty seconds left. You're lying. How can you do this? How can you pass that up? Come on, guys. 30 people in the chat. Not one person. We've seen a pass on Thor, a pass on some good X-Men goodness. Bronze. It's Bronze Age Thor. They are passing up for $5 a piece. 40 you, can't, cent. you can't even go on eBay and find a crap copy for $5 a piece. It's all good. All right, we got five seconds left. 32 people in the chat. Any indie stuff? Oh, I'm sure there's plenty of indie stuff. I'm not selling night, Will, but if you want right. me to, I'll just say here's a uh, you can buy a short box of, of indie comics for me. Just for joined. What is the deal? Um, it is $5 a Thor book, or at $25, you get yep. two Thor keys thrown in. With eight books total. Yeah, eight books total. Yeah, if you are interested, uh, let Evan know in the chat. Hit him up on Instagram, on something like that. And what's I'm up, gonna, Newbies Comics? Thanks for coming out. I'm going to add next AMKM Comics. AMKM. What is up? What is up? What is up? up? Guys? I got a little bit of indie for you guys. Um. Uh, I'm gonna start with uh, the Pro Leap one, two, three, Ishinomoko. Start with issue number one. We we'll start this at ten bucks, soldier. Issue number two. Issue number three. Two. Oh, that's 10 bucks. What's up, so, new people? Three bucks, 10 bucks, the crow leaf, all some peach momoko goodness. Peach momoko, and it gets better. It starts getting. Uh, Will, you and I read stuff the same way. I actually think you would like this lot. And if you don't, you can yell me, yell at me, and I will give you $10. All right, we got a bid. Popeye 310. At 20, I'll throw in the Horizon 1, 2, 3. All Peace Momoko. Nice. This last one, I thought was the best one. Pete says it sounds like you're streaming from the bottom of a lake. So $10, <laughs> ten more dollars, you get those Peach Momoko Horizon Zero Dons. Uh, Comic Burrito is asking what's the deal for shipping uh, I think they they are the same as most of us Cole that 
uh, eight bucks for under eight bucks, 15 bucks for more than eight bucks. Yes, sir. I can only know, know that because I bought a bunch of shit from AMKM on the nights where I'm not selling and I am, you know, been drinking. Yes, Burke, that is the first bit of the night. The ice is broken, y'all. So ten more dollars gets you the Peach Momoko Horizon uh, Zero Dawn goodness. But yeah, that Crow Leaf is is a pretty good series. And I'm not the world's biggest Peach Momoko fan, but her art in in this series just slays. It was pretty nice. She yeah, it's on the show. Um, Papa, she got really good on the details on the. Yeah. I can't remember what I was listening to earlier, but they were talking about Peach Momoko doing like Marvel art versus the indie stuff, and that everybody says. She's probably better in the indie world instead of, you know, the relatively non-intricate, like, superhero world. Dude, I think I would prefer Peach's indie stuff over Marvel. We got 30 seconds left, y'all. 10 bucks gets you the Crow Leaf. The next 10 bucks gets you all the Horizon Zero Dawn Peach Moako stuff. <laughs> Pop Popeye, did I win a prize for being the first bidder? I'll do that for you, Popeye. Mm, nice. Me and the first bidder, boss. All right, that's time. So by the time my end line shows up. So let me know if you want to upgrade Popeye with for the three, one, two, three on the horizon. If not, you just hold. Yeah, let us know. Upgrade or hold. You should upgrade. Just saying. Yeah. All her non Marvel stuff is going to get hot. All right, guys. And as encouragement, if we get 50 likes on this video, I'll do a giveaway tonight. So let's get 50. Let's get. 50 people in here. Let's get this up to 50 likes and I'll do a giveaway at the end of the night. Kind of like the Super Chat giveaway, but you know, not really. But I'll do a giveaway at the end of the night. So let's get it up to 50 likes. Let's get it going. Invite your friends. Invite your family. Invite your grandma. I already invited mine. Alright. Popeye is going to hold. Sorry, I, I bumped myself out uh, to the back because I clicked the wrong button. So next up is J1 Bob from the great state of Oklahoma. That's right. That's right. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Oh, hold on one second. I have uh, one book. A uh, AMKM, Popeye is going to upgrade. Good choice, right. Popeye. Good choice. All right, good. Sorry. Bus, bus. Got you. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're good. So I have a. I've got a pretty cool first appearance. And it is signed, but I do not have a COA. I would like to apologize starting off. But it is signed by Kionez. He is the cover artist and part of the story. But this is... Power the Duck. There we go. That's better. Number one, first appearance of... That's right. Gwynpool. Nice. That's really pixelated, and bro. Is it really? 
You might need to hop out and hop back in. Give it a little refresh. Oh, that ice down in right, Oklahoma. There's a city. Oh, it killed the whole freaking center of the state. Yeah. There's still mm -hmm. like 200,000 people without power. You guys thought Thor number six was first appearance of Black Winter. Check out <laughs> Oklahoma. <laughs> right. uh, what are you starting this at? Uh, 20 bucks. All right. Starting line, 20 bucks for the first Gwenpool. Yeah, my wife was supposed to go down your way for Signed work. By and she decided not to thank god she did not to make the drive yeah she was very excited that she could have made the ice but then when she found out power was out all over the place no dice i like holding the comics but let me put it over here and see if that helps with the pixelization i mean in I, florida there's nothing i can do about it that's going to make it better yeah But I might be able to just put it in a stationary spot and make it better. How's that? That looks a little better. You got a tiny bit of glare. Move the book over to the left. Oh, a no, bit. he's good. He's good. He's good right there. Okay. I mean, he's not going to get any better than that. That's yeah, true. I was going to say, just leave it still and then let it catch up. There you, there go. you go. Oh, oh, there. he just had it. Yeah, oh, like, oh, it's like we're playing he with can't the rabbit. do anything. It's the camera. <laughs> I love how we're rooting for J1. <laughs> $20 so for the first appearance of Gwenpool. She well, is one of my favorites. After the last one, it was terrible. So I, I'll take whatever I can get at this point. And right there. That's fine. Just leave it. Keon get your finger away from there. I'm just putting the. I'm just showing where the signature is. Just showing where the signature is. Hey, Too we bad. May, <laughs> we may have to do some trading if nobody wants this. You got it. You, you know what I got, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> a coochie cootie uh, and a Pez dispenser. dispenser. And a Pez dispenser. Dude, I forgot all about the Pez, Pez dispenser. It's sitting on my desk. You have a signed Domo Homo Romo Tomo Lomo Como. He does have a signed book or two that I do want, so it's okay. All right, we got one minute left on this first Gwen pool that is signed without a COA. Wait, what's it? If it had a COA, it wouldn't be 20 bucks, I can tell you that. Yeah. Oh, well, you can still get a CBCS. Yeah, that's true. I will say this is much better than Friday. So I'll take this. Yeah. This isn't. It's Friday just cycling in and out, but ain't nothing you can do about it. Let, just let me know whatever his total is. I'll take whatever I can get at this point. I was gonna say it is what it is. It's a lot better than trying to do it on my cell phone. At least I have a decent camera. That's true. All right, you got ten seconds left, or it's getting traded to, to a Cat sixty probably. Oh yeah, it's gonna. I'll probably work on tonight. All right, that's that's it. So here comes the end line. For a uh, Domo Homo, Tony yeah. Romo. All right, I thought J1 was the uh, the last in our line, and then I scrolled down on my screen stream and saw that we have the max capacity of folks in here now, and our our last seller of the rotation, Big I'm Baby Black. Ooh, that looks like something I, I want to pay for. Am I up again? All right. Is that? Oh, is Big Baby yeah. Evan? Did your name change on the screen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, no, yeah. but it's not you then. Instagram. <laughs> all right. I was gonna right. say, geez, this guy. All, all right. Set up. Uh, so I'm gonna show two things real fast. I'm not uh, selling much of anything tonight. Uh, 
But remember, a good number of us in this auction have uh, worked together to commission the Justine for any variant of crossover number one. Uh, for the low, low price of $50, you can get a virgin and a trade dress of the the comic that is about to be hot. I think almost all of us on the panel have read it, and it is it is quite something with a lot of potentials to be a game changer. So that's the first thing that I want to show. And then uh, the other thing that I've been doing literally all day, and then when folks said, will you host an auction? Uh, I have my first run of mystery boxes that are ready to go that are better than the get this shit out of my house boxes. Uh, so I've organized boxes of seven to 10 comics that are $35 shipped and you are guaranteed to at least exceed $35 in value. One of the things that I hate about mystery boxes is getting some random like number seven of an indie series or any series, because if I want to read that, I got to go buy six other issues so I have included at least a number one and a number two of a either big two series or an indie series that I've read and think is really good. Uh, you're, you get one guaranteed variant, uh, a guaranteed additional number one with a chance of signed books, uh, some exclusive variants that, you know, when people put exclusive variants in mystery boxes, like it's all the shit that we get from that Spider-Man booth. Uh, some 60 cent goodness. And there are four grand prizes assigned Lady Death with a COA, assigned Shadow of the Bat number one without a COA, a Clayton Crane Maestro number one, the trade dress version. And then I have a secret grand prize that I won't tell you about. But those are $35. And if you are interested, uh, then hit me up on Instagram and I will leave my little banner scrolling at the bottom now. So that what is any coochie ten. cooties. No, my only coochie cootie is gone. Who but has I've got, that? Where did that go? Uh, to the great state of Florida, which, uh, <laughs> it now it's a, it's a humid coochie cootie and probably a dirty coochie cootie. Uh, it's can, definitely soiled. Can people yeah. buy more than one? Probably? Yeah. Uh, you can buy more than one. I have 10 made. I was only, I, I may only release nine and use the 10th as one of my giveaways for my 500 subscriber giveaway. But if there are 10 people tonight who are like, I want a mystery box, then uh, yes, I will take that and then make a different mystery box for uh, someone who wins. So if you're interested in either of those things, either let me know in the chat or hit me up on Instagram. Uh, Weapon X, not all of the Shadow of the Bat number ones were polybagged. That they did have individual single issues and then they had that four issue pack. I actually know something about a Batman book for once. I did my Googles. <laughs> all right. Uh, so coming off to lead up, lead off the second rotation is Batman Poster. All right. All right I'm gonna well, try, I'm gonna what we got for round two? I'm going to try some Batman again. So we're going okay. to go different storyline. We'll start at $10 again at nine books, and then every five more dollars on top of the 10, I'll add four more books of the same run. So you got Batman Internals number one, number two, number three, Number four, number five, six, seven, thing one drowning himself, eight. That's freaking awesome. Nine. I think that's the last one. So nine books. So starting at ten dollars, and then every five dollars, I'll throw. Five more in. The artwork on those is amazing. Yeah. All right, here comes your starting line. This I mean, is this is one of my favorite covers. I mean, uh, yeah. What's what's the max out? If somebody wanted all of them that you had, how much would they have to bid? 
seven thousand dollars. Papa Willie. Hey, what's up, Papa Willie? Yeah, how's Batman selling Batman? They're all extras. That's he's what he's bat said earlier. He's Batman. Man. I got thirty total. Okay. So five bucks at five. That's sorry, forty bucks then. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I mean, just the covers. It's a really good story too. I mean. All right, we really, got Starscream in at ten bucks. That's really cool, co like sick cover. Icebreaker. Nice. Average Will said he just dozed off and hit himself in the face with the phone. <laughs> uh, I would say that I would do that, but I think everybody who is in this stream right now has seen me fall asleep in this chair where my phone is nowhere near my face. All right, Papa Wheelie at 12, Starscream at 13. If somebody bumps this up to 15, you get uh, four more books added. Four more. Yeah, you might as well discard to 15 at least. Yep. Papa right. Wheelie at 14, Starscream at 15. Now yeah, we got some action. All right, next ones are 10. Oh, we we got to make closure of the, autumn, the honorary substitution for matter of 29, 26, and 30. All right. So you've got 1 through 10, 29, 15, 29, and 30. Yep. So Star Screams at 15. We got a minute left. Five more dollars adds you four more books. Hey, AMKM, uh, hit me up on some Instagram. Look at the chat. There's the number one. I mixed it up. There's 30. There's 10. Okay. Uh, Comic Burrito wants to know what the next four books are. Is that your question, Cole? The next four are there within the same run, and it's going to be 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, so eight and nine are keys. All right, we got about 20 seconds left, so... Uh, Papa Wheelie is folded. Starscream's got it at 15. And for, I mean, don't ask me why, but this is my second set. I have a, I have a whole entire set, and plus I have another set. Nice. All right. That is time. All right. So, Starscream, let us know if you want to upgrade any more, if you're going to hold at 15. Cole says he thinks the delay is huge. All right, so Starscream 69 is flexing, mm -hmm. but I don't know what that means. It's fold. Okay. So Starscream fold, or holds at $15, so... Just reach out to me on IG. It's right there at the bottom of the screen, Starscream. I think I've talked to you a couple of times. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Coming up next is Tricky Trapster. What's up, what's up? Tricky. Uh, Instagram, Tricky Trapster. Also go to YouTube if you are interested. Uh, this is a four-book lot. Uh, we'll start off at 10. You've seen them before. Got that foiled junior goodness. And the first full appearance of Spider-Man 2099. It's about a, it's about a three- or four-page appearance. First appearance. Uh, started off at 10 books. All right. Very good shape. 
with the Foil Junior. Foil Junior. What number is that? Which one? The black one? Uh, 365. Hmm. So, yeah, the blue one is uh, 189. Red is 90. 365 and 26. It's the first 2099. First 2099 is the black one. Uh, at the end of the book, there's like a full two page splash of them, and then there's about two different pa pages after that of, of 2099 action. Nice. Me better? Hey, if nobody else wants that, man, I'll take it. What was that, AM? Can you hear me better? It's it's a little better, but it's kind of rough. I'll take it. I got something. You stop that, cat. I was messaging him. All right. Oh, we got had Tats in at ten, and Adrian Panda awesome in at eleven. Papa Wheelie at thirteen. And as you know, he will be in the next Spider-Verse movie. And, I mean, actually, 2099 has had staying power since the beginning. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's he's the only one who really, like, uh, stuck around. Which I do have a 2099 starter set uh, coming up. Um, it's It's got a lot of sick books in it. But uh, if you've never had any of them, you know, who would have, even though he had staying power, who would have thought, you know, he would get, yeah. like, his book would get so hot, like, soon? So like this could happen to any of the any of these runs, you know what I mean? Like from the nineties and it could it could be like this could be the first appearance of you know, something stupid. Like yeah. Aunt May's cousin and then like she's in a movie. <laughs> People are like shitting their pants, like but really nice yeah, color. Really, cool. really nice condition, guys. That is a huge spec. Oh, also this is a first appearance as well. Uh this is a, uh, <clears throat> I don't know the villain's name, but I guess it's some sort of symbiotic, like galactic, galactic type character. I don't think he's stuck, but you never know, you know, with, you know, we have Donny Cates bringing up shit from years ago, so who knows, you know. All right, we got 30 seconds left on the clock. Mr. <laughs> Taz and Junior's at 17, so we need an 18 or fold got, from Panda Austin. Well, tonight, tonight we'll have throw-ins for the price. Like I think it should be like $9 shipping, but also I have uh, plenty of books and extras to throw in. So I'll, I'll find you some stuff to uh, make you happy when you open that box. Yeah, Weapon guys. X is talking about his penis again in the chat. He's taken that, my job. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, you know what did Weapon the, X? That's, that's what we're here for, man. You're all right. So we're his that was the timer. Talks, his girlfriend never talks about it, so he's got to talk about it. Though. That, that was the it. timer. So Tats is at seventeen. Papa Wheelie is folded. So Adrian, it's to you for an eighteen or fold. What we Adrian could do folds. is when the timer hit. What we, what we could do when the timer hits is just have the highest bidder go for it, and you know what I mean that way. We we'll have to wait for a fold. We'll just have the highest bidder at the end of the, the timer, if you don't mind. But you can do whatever you want. It's your show, I, bro. I don't care. All right, Mr. Taz is the winner. Seventeen dollars. Mr. Taz is on Insta. Hit me up, bro. I got extras to throw in. All right. So Thank coming you. up next is Cat Sixty. And I moved my camera. All right. I'm going to confuse the shit out of you. I know this isn't going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> I got two auctions running at the same time. Okay. First, I got Venom, number three, um, fourth print. And then I have Edge of Spider-Verse, um, number, number one, or number two, fourth print. All right, um, so let's do it like this. Uh, what are you starting the Venom at? Okay, they're both starting at $50. Okay. okay. So if you are going to bid on Venom... Just then type in V. V and then your the bid. Number. So there's your starting line for Venom, and your starting line for Gwen... Will be... Will be actually S for because it's Edge of Spider Verse. So, 
Hey, AMKM needs back in too. Okay, we'll do in a second. Okay. So you've got both of your starting lines there. So V for Venom, uh, S for the Edge of Spider Verse, and that's starting now. And I'll see if I can do it. Now I gotta let. <laughs> I just thought it was oh, grades. Um, pickle banging, minty fresh. Um, like twelve point two on the metric scale. Um, these are these are both uh, these are both perfect. I mean, I'm not gonna say they're nine eights. I'm gonna say they're candidates though. Okay. I got that stupid light that hits it just right. Yeah. I mean, I seriously, I I mean, I've been selling these books for a long time, dude. These are minty, minty fresh. There you go. We got a venom. Right, we 50. got a venom for fifty. So we're bidding on the V. Is that a giggity? Absolutely. Maybe. I also have this um, 9.8 um, Venom 26 uh, signature series Kirkham. Um, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this at a 9.8 and um, I'm going to do this shipped for 125. Nice. All right, we got Tony NY Jr. Welcome to the stream. Venom is at 55 now. And Gwen is at 50. Gwen at 50. Smart man, Tony. Looks more like a 9 4. Which one? Venom? Are you are you saying because of that mark down here at the bottom? It's a nine four. Because that's right, the bottom's up there. to sixty. There is no mark at the bottom. It's part of the artwork. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can you do another spine slide on the Gwen? Absolutely. So the lights. That looks good. Okay, so I, I already see there's an indent here, but that's pressable. I mean, I, I, can, I didn't see it until I hit the light hit it just right. There's a dent right here, but it's pressable. And um, every one of these is rippled. It needs to be pressed anyways because... <clears throat> they there's so much ink that they use on these things. Um, there's so mm -hmm. much ink on these things. They all are wavy. Press them and they're perfect. I've gotten two nine eights out of out of these before. So you got I, ten I, I seconds. Know, I know these books. All right, so Pete, give us a, a fold or not on the Venom, uh, but the Gwen is definitely sold to Tony for 50 bucks. Venom is up to 70. Oh, and Gwen's still in play because there was a $55 bid before the end line dropped. 
Who did? Uh, Keith Lackey. All right. The person who asked for the spine slide. So oh, Venom's yeah. at 75 and Gwen <laughs> is at 55. I told you this would this would uh, be confusing as all hell. Yeah. No, Keith, Keith, you're good. I, I missed it. So uh, Pete folds on the Venom. So Venom goes to Tony NY Jr. for 75. All right. <coughs> and now it's just this. even confusing me now <laughs> all right tony and wise up to 60 on the gwen so 61 or fold keith's at 65 so 66 or fold to tony Tony's up to 75, so we're at a 76 or fold to Keith. Tony, Keith got a vote. All right. Good run. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Coming up next is... Collector's Den. What's up? I got a. I'm calling this the horror lot, but it's some Doctor Strange. So I got that issue. These are all in um very good condition. Very fine. Probably better. Okay, and I'm throwing this <laughs> Defenders in there. It's pretty cool. It has Moon Knight, Wonder Man. I'm starting it off at 18 bucks. All right. And then for the heck of it, I'll throw these two in. Nice. Some Tales of the Weird. Yeah, this one's a near mint. This one has a little spine tip. Very minor. Sold this whole lot for 18 bucks. Doctor Strange horror lot. I also got some Bennett Nows. I've got this uh, front line. I believe it's a third print Walmart pack sealed for 10 bucks. I got first print right here, Batman 89. I got this one at 40 bucks. You send this into PGBC, guarantee 9.8. And I have this rare Deadpool. <laughs> oh, this man, I want that. Hey, collectors, <laughs> I got a question. Well, what hold I on. This is super well, Pavel Wheeler wants to know what the issue numbers are on those Doctor Strange again. Yeah. On the Doctor Strange. This is number 14. 25 center. Number 59. This is a 60 center. I, they're all from different series. This one has a stamp on it right here. This is a 40 center. Yeah, fortunately they're all they're all different series. 40 center also, number 39. This one's really cool. Still this one. Number 48. You know, the thing about Doctor Strange, Thor, and Hulk, you know, all their covers were always amazing. 
We got just under a minute left. So 18, 18 bucks. All right, now my question. What happened to the Serape? Yeah, what's up? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> it was getting in the way. Also, if you guys are interested, spawn. I think this is that. You ain't about uh, that couple. Serape life. <laughs> I got that uh, Sarape in San Jose. You gotta actually. start rocking it like 24 no, 7. Living out there. It's gotta be the new fit. So let me know. 18 bucks. And then I got, you know, I'll throw in some stuff too. I got uh, a lot of books I could throw in. How much in. for the Sarape? Oh, Sarape is like a thousand. <laughs> yeah. All right, that is time. So I'm going to drop an end line. All right, if you saw anything you wanted and came in late, hit up Collector's Den on the Instagram. And we've got the man of the spawn tens for $10. Yo. Um. Yeah, you heard him right. I got. I got spawn tens. Somewhere, but yeah, I have spawn tens, ten dollars a piece. Um, let me know if you're interested. Oh, wait a minute, they're there. Ugh. If you don't know what spawn ten is, um. It's a big spec of ours. Name of it's crossing over. Tons of it. Go check out the previous episodes of AMKM Comics on YouTube where we talk about it. But yeah, $10 a piece. I'm only selling 10 of them tonight. Only 10. If you get two, it's 15. If you get three, it's uh, 20. So yeah. Um, we're going to throw this up. Um... This is Howard the Duck, number one. This is a double cover. We're going to start this off at 50 bucks. These are upwards of 75 to 80 um, bucks right now on eBay. Start off at 50 bucks. As you know, you're still getting it under eBay fair market value. Mumbo jumbo. So, but yeah, and I will show you it's a double cover. Gotta be very gentle. You have to caress the cover. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, double cover. Nice. Didn't you tell me you were just eating a bucket of KFC? Say what? <laughs> um greasy fingers. Greasy fingers now. <laughs> um but yeah, Howard the Duck, number one, double cover air. We're going to start off 50 bucks. All right, you got the timer rolling, everyone. Some sweet, sweet double cover Which, action. Yes, this is an error. And if I remember correctly of where I put the other books... Of course, they're all under there. Marshall Lewis is in the house. Thanks for stopping in. What's up, Marshall? Thanks for coming out, bud. Um, Marshall, I'm not ghosting you on Instagram. You sent me links to your last two videos you've dropped. They are on my to-watch list for okay. school tomorrow. So you're encouraging kids to watch... YouTube during school? Uh, tomorrow I teach two classes all day. Oh, nice. Oh, do you do it during your planning? Yeah. Nice. And yeah. my government kids are playing a game. They're trying to win the White House uh, to learn how the Electoral College is fucking up our democracy, but that's just me. <laughs> all right, you got a minute, minute left to, to get in on this sweet 
double cover action plus some foiled again DNA finger DNA a little bit of tonning action on the inner cover oh yeah now he's rubbing that marble no, I really hope that that, you, that cut your tongue <laughs> no I didn't even lick it dude I'm not gonna touch this with my tongue and I can just see the like viewership just going plummeting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have it's negative views one. and I've been banned. <laughs> You've been banned from eBay and every other source that comics are on. 30 seconds left to get it on this <laughs> double cover action. Except except for Amazon, where you can get the crustiest of covers. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, the delay is real because, uh, oh no, I'm not live on my second string because I was like you just fake licked the book <laughs> <laughs> no but um yeah starting bit of 50 bucks and I'm doing 275 buy it now these Star Wars beautiful newsstands ultra rare there's only one listing of this one it's at like 200 bucks on uh, eBay first appearances awesomeness run through these another first appearance awesome banger banger um, first parents of Yaddle, the first, um, this is, a uh, it's a female of the same species of Yoda newsstand. There's no listings of that on eBay, but hit me up 275, buy it now, this whole lot. All right. So if you're interested in either of those things, hit up the, the master of the shiny cover himself as he dabs his way out. Oh, and spontaneous. And spawn tens, and in we bring and check the private chat on that. They're foiled. All uh, right, we've got big baby collectibles who is selling a poser lot. All right, I'm sorry about that. So, for a buy it now, we have the kingdom come, um, number one and number two. We're gonna have that at ten dollars. Buy it now, and this will be a starting bid at seven dollars. You got Warlock, the Infinity Watch, one through seven. Yeah, one through seven. And Infinity Gauntlet, number six. And for every $5 added after $14, I will throw in more Infinity Gauntlet books. I have the full run here. If you guys are interested. All right, there you go. There goes your starting line. So once it gets to fourteen dollars, every five bucks gets you more in the Infinity Gauntlet run. Yes, sir. Which is a dope read. You also know what I just realized? I spilt my entire drink on the carpet. Good job. Nice. Oh my gosh. Now you have an excuse for why in your next turn in like thirty minutes you won't be ready to go because you forgot to clean up your your pee on the floor. No, it's a Coke Zero. Uh, uh, Y'all know that I am not the, the world's biggest spec person, but I will tell you, and a lot of the research I've been doing for my side hustle blog, uh, there are talks of finding ways to fold Adam Warlock into the MCU in the next phase. It's That's Christian why... Bale. Nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm Bat -wa Batlock. No, Christian Bale would be a, an amazing Adam Warlock. He looks just yeah. like So that's why I've been gobbling these up as I can find them. I've got a short box that's all Adam Warlock. Nice. Oh, that's a good looking cover. I got some pretty rare Adam Warlock stuff. Uh, also, Adam Warlock or Christian Bale should play every character in the MCU. At the same time. That's that's what it should be. The one man show. Yeah. Secret he's, he's, Wars he's, with Adam Warlock. Ninety seconds left. Once again we got these two, the kingdom up for buy it now of ten dollars, both issues one and issues two. We got a minute left. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Toy Box Treasures, how's it going? And what the deuce in the house? Seven dollars is the the starting line for this warlock goodness. And I'm telling you, if you dropped what like forty five dollars, that gets you all of the Infinity Gauntlet. I I myself in in a YouTube auction sold an Infinity Gauntlet set for like two hundred and fifty dollars. Well, I believe it. And Toy Box Treasures, I found the last thing. There we go. We got a bid from Denzel at seven bucks. Uh, I've almost got your family box of goodness done. It will be in the mail on Wednesday. All right. All that right, is time. So, Denzel, uh, I'll let you work out with Evan on the back end if you want to upgrade to any of these books, to any of the know. extra Infinity Gauntlet. It would be uh, five for $5, four for $5, three, then two, then one for every $5. Uh, I think Papa Willie's looking for some nice Superman books if you guys have any. There is your end line. So if anybody up in the rotation's got some Superman, Matthew will take them off your hands and come in next to the stage. I thought they would never ask. KM. And Denzel says he's going to hold. Okay. All right, I've got a couple more uh, indie for you guys. Good, I got. All right. Yeah, it's really. Good. It sounds better. Okay. It's sympathy. Uh, sympathy for no devils. Uh, Hatchet Halloween Tales too. Uh, the vein, number one. And it eats what feeds it. Number one, we're gonna start this at fifteen bucks, poser. Got it. Just uh, the vein is really good. That it eats what feeds it. Number one, the price has gone up because Scout did not print enough of that first issue, and had to order it for a second printing. So check those out, uh, Evan. Pete wants to know if you have a buy it now price on the rest of the Gauntlet collection. So chat with them in the chat or back channel each other on Instagram. Poser, have you read Bane yet? Yes, I loved that book. It's friggin' awesome. Yeah, uh, Vault can take all my money. I read, <laughs> what were the two Vault books that I read today? Giga. Yep. And I can't remember what the other one was today, but I read 20 books today and Giga was, Giga was real good. good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Vault Vault is like I think the publisher I pull the most image Maybe and then know. Marvel. Yeah. And then Vault and then DC is my top four. And this is a sleeper, people, man. This is a good read too. Yes. That that whole series what one was that? Uh, it's, it's real good that it's had three books out, I think, so far, and it eats what beats it. Uh, turn the Graduate into a horror movie, and that's what that shit is. It's so good. And every $3 after that, guys, would add you a random book. And I'm talking about stuff that you're not going to really find on your LCS a lot. Yep. So stuff like this, guys. Phantom Starkiller is really good, and it's already selling online for like 15 bucks. Stuff like this, guys. I couldn't get you the issue number two. I sold out. Sorry about that. Another one that was pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one looks awesome. Got a minute and a half. Nobody wants in on this scary indie lot. I got to buy it now. 
for ten bucks. I'm too Graphic scared. Graphic novel. I'm too scared to bid. Robotech. I think I saw people asking for it. Yeah, oh, what Robotech? About it. What Robotech? What Robotech? Uh, Robotech, the graphic novel. If this doesn't sell, hit me up. I got two copies. Uh, I can show you pictures right. of either or. All right. Whoever's interested in the chat. Yeah, Robotech, I'm definitely interested. That's what I grew up on. So first two people get some. Yeah, man, I, I really enjoyed this cover. That movie is so fucked up in a good way. <laughs> so you get stuff you're not really gonna find, guys. So after that, every th three dollars gets you a rare book. Madden Satan is also good. Fuck, this is gonna be a we might chat on the back end. <laughs> people, I, I. I People are picking up this book that I had to pick it up myself just to see what it's yep. about. So I'm picking all right. up all those little Rick and Morty side stories and stuff. Oh, what the deuce came in before I typed it in at 15, and that my timer was going off. So did you see dude, how much the Rick and Morty ASM 300 homages were going for? Oh, some of the Rick and Morty stuff is crazy. It's fire. crazy right now. There you go, what the deuce, 18, okay. What did you want, what the deuce? I can hook you up with the Phantom. Deuce, you want Phantom or Star the, Killer. Or the kids. Or 21 I, gets you both. I also got this one. Oh, that's a cool cover. So what the deuce type in the chat, which one you want? Oh, I also forgot to show this one. I also got the watcher number one and number two and the mall number one. Oh, the mall's also really good. Cool. You, you let me know what you want with the deuce. Deuce says Phantom Star Killer. Cool. I would have gone with that one too. Yeah. <laughs> That's sick cover that's good it, and it, it's from an imprint of scout and did you see scout, what the black one the one with the black outer is going for is like crazy over 150 yeah, yeah. dude uh, all right excellent thank lot you. Good, thank you what good the deuce up what the deuce all right now we got our oki j1 a hello 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 how about a uh, first appearance of Riri Williams? Nice. Invincible Iron Man number seven. Start that at 40. All right. Ironheart is heating up. Oh, yeah. And this is the clearest you're your camera has ever been. <laughs> so so I think it was pixelated it's and so fuzzy because it was like, nah, y'all don't want to look at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, if, we get 60 like, if we get 60 likes, I'll do like an art giveaway or something. Or some books. So go tell your friends. Oh, shit, if we get 60 likes, I guess I could do a giveaway, too. That'd be dope. <laughs> I'll find something. I have, for my 500, I think I have 14 things that I'm giving away. And you so can't I'll give find... away your children, too. I... I mean, they're all sleeping, so it'd be easy. <laughs> uh, Weapon X wants to know what number print that is. Is it the third print? It is the third print, yes. It's the fine print. Hey. It's the pinkish purple. What's up, Jay Blitz? Uh, Jay Blitz wants to know what you are, what you would grade it at. Oh, near man. I mean, let's let's see if my camera will take it. 
with the internet, but I'll show you what I can. Tell me if it gets blurry. Uh -oh. Might as well catch all the prints. Is it is it hanging on? Is it okay? Yep. Yeah, it looks good. Ah oh, man, the cowboy suck. Jeez. All right, we're at fifty-one seconds. We are living it up, Jay Blitz. I need to remember uh, to be awake and not working for the next time y'all do bingo books, bingo for books, because everybody says it's a dope time. Man, no, no love on some first re re. That's okay. It was in my CGC pile. Nice. Yeah, why pay forty now when they could buy it for a hundred something yeah, after? <laughs> exactly. All right, we got five seconds left, y'all. All right. If you are Everybody interested, interested. Let me drop this back a little. It is a seventy. It is a seven zero, but it is signed by Chris Claremont. Oh, nice! And I will do that for ninety dollars ship. Nice. So if you are interested, either let us know in the chat or hit up J One on Instagram. Beautiful and that is right there. That's nice. That is nice. That is the bottom of the rotation, so that means you get to look at my ugly face for a minute. Uh, so the only two things I am hawking aside from renting out my lovely Eorish voice talents if you need it for anything. Uh, if you are interested in the uh, crossover number one exclusive that a uh, good chunk of us in this group commissioned uh, through Justine Franny. We've got the set of the trade dress and the Virgin that is a Tron homage for 50 bucks. You can either let me know in the chat or hit me up on Instagram. The second item that I've got going on is I've got the Poser Pile 1.0, my first uh, mystery box that's not me shipping off trash books to Barbarian and, and Rock City. Uh, it's I've got 10 of them, $35 shipped. All of the boxes will be above $35 in value, have a starter run on a big two or an indie series that I like, uh, some kind of variant, some kind of additional number one to a series that you've heard of. There are some signed books, some exclusive covers in there. Uh, and then there are four grand prizes, uh, assigned Lady Death with a COA, assigned Shadow of the Bat number one without a COA, uh, the Clayton Crane Maestro number one, the trade dress, and a secret grand prize. So if you are interested again, you can let me know in the chat, or you can send me a DM on... Instagram that my information is scrolling along the bottom the whole the time. Day that you dropped it, poser, or is it what? Is this the day that you dropped it? Was it starting today, or has it been up for a little bit? The mystery box. My first yeah. announcement was at the end of the last rotation. All right. So my plan is to announce it on uh, Instagram and Twitter tomorrow, so you <laughs> all get a first crack at them. All right. We will begin our third rotation, coming back to the man we, we, of bats and pops himself, Batman Popster. What you got for us? Um, I got a. I'll just start off with this lot. It's A W lot or A W A lot, one through four. Hotel, it's probably one of the best horror books I've read in a mm -hmm. little while. 
it's a it's like a it's all the stories within one, two, and three all collide into four. Yeah. Oh, I did that backwards. What'd you start in that? Uh ten dollars. Nice. All right. And then I'll also do buy it now twenty. It's uh first print of Dark Knight Death Metal number two. If no one was able to get it. It's crispy, crispy clean. All right, I need someone to call out bids for a second. I need to go pee pee in the potty like a big boy. <clears throat> we got 10 for Lost Cause. So there's one, two, three, and four. But yeah, it's a it's a really good read. I mean, you, you have to like really step back from it too, because some some of the stuff in here is just so weird. It's Did definitely it feel weird when you read stuff. Did it make you feel weird when you read it? I got goosebumps on some of them. Like nice. some of the stuff, it was just it was one of that on on the edge of your seat kind of, and you're like mm-hmm. trying to think of what one. I think it was in book two. Yeah, each of those books are really good. And I I really think, even with how it ends, that this could be one of the AWA titles that they open up for a second run just because of how they thread through, uh, like, the horror element. Yep. But if any of y'all have seen the movie Four Rooms, uh, it's it's the horror version of Four Rooms, and it's it's so good. Yeah, it is really good. I was gonna take two out and like show you the picture that I was thinking of, and I think it's the um, was it two? Was... Let's see. Is to the woman and her husband? Three. I don't know if that's Sean freezing or if it's my internet being crappy. I think it's Sean. Okay. Or up to 15. But, oh, yep, he he dropped. Uh, but we'll all pause the timer for a second. But there are four interconnected horror stories. Uh, if you, the big white clown looking dude that's on the, the cover of the fourth book is from a painting that you see in issue number one. And it kind of gets threaded throughout. But you've got, uh, four stories that all connect with the, kind of the fate of this hotel. Um, but it's it's four rooms. It's kind of the shining uh, all all wrapped up into one. And it's it. I think it might be there he is. Uh, it might be my second, my first or second favorite from from AWA that they are another one of those indie publishers that's just bringing it home. So Sorry. In in you hopping out, you're up to, to 17 to what the deuce. Awesome. I don't know what happened. The internet just took a big old crap. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got that's that's the timer. So uh lost cause, we need a 18 or a fold. Time. Lost cause is up to eighteen. Oh, wow. Deuce is up to twenty. Nice. And 
Lost Cause Folds. That's a really, really good pickup, Deuce. Yep. Thanks for the Deuce. Appreciate it. My uh, uh, piece in the, or it was in the bottom. But. Uh, let's see if I hide that. There you go. Batman Pops are 23. All right, all right. Good stuff. We'll see you again in a few. Yep. Up next is Tricky Trapster. Look at that logo. I just made that today. Ain't that sexy? Nice. All right, What's guys. What's that like? Come on. Come on. Making me blush on camera. Uh, well, got I Batman dream, Logan, I dream it Batman. looks like you. Legends of the Dark Knight, Legends of the Dark Might. Okay, Legends of the Dark Might by Alan Grant and Kevin O'Neill. Kevin O'Neill did uh, Martial Law. I don't know if you guys are into that ass art, but I'm a big Martial Law fan. We got Batman, Run Riddler Run. It's a square bound book. These are all near near mint. I have Batman Adventures 2 and 3 near mint. Really nice copies. We got the first appearance of Zaz collector set sealed and also in a bag and, bo a bag and board because I got my bag and boards in today. And then a really nice copy, near mint copy of Batman 500. Nice. Uh, Foyle, Jr. Uh, Foyle Jr. here. And then uh, also this this Batman, it like opens and then there's the image of Batman behind it. Yep. If you're not familiar with the book, mm -hmm. it's a thicker book. Um, it's really thick too. It's, it's Yeah, it's real thick, baby. And... Uh, I would say near mint copy. It's really nice. So start off at ten dollars. <clears throat> we got Legends of the Dark Might with all the all the Bat Mites because we love that that type of stuff. That where else or that else worlds? Where else? That's no, stupid. Uh, the else worlds uh, fun goodness, right? Run Riddler, run Square Bound. I've never even seen that book until I seen that book. Uh, Batman five hundred, really nice copy. Foil Junior goodness. We got Batman first collector set, first appearance of Zaz sealed um, and complete inside of that bag and board, baby. And we got Batman Adventures 2 and 3. I don't know that I can come off my ones yet until I know I have uh, more than ones. Get it? <laughs> All right. So ten dollars starting bid. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six books. It'll be nine dollars shipped. Uh, Adventures eight, is just getting real hot too. What's that? Adventures Adventures continued is getting really hot. Mm -hmm. for you. Look at that cover. That's got awesome. Mr. Miracle cool. right there. You can't see that cover, but we know what that is. We got this sexy goodness. <clears throat> run, run, run. Um, square bound. Haven't read it, so I have no clue if it's good or not. It must be good because it's the only one I've seen in a while or ever, so people aren't just willing to give it up, I suppose. I'll give it up. That. Legends of the Dark Knight. We know. We know. <laughs> we know what happens after you get that Viagra in the system. Papa Wheelie is in at 10. Speaking of Viagra, gives you energy, I heard, right? I mean, not just that. <laughs> I had a guy at work who was like prescribed to it. I mean, he's, he was old. He was like in his 60s. He's a black guy and he, he still couldn't get it up like all the way. But <laughs> he took it every day for energy, I guess. <laughs> this is why we he needed it to get up in the morning. <laughs> Oh, Ricky. Oh, he's a nice guy. That was before I quit, but uh, he's a big guy. Like All right, we got 30 seconds left on <laughs> on the Batman lot and all these hot Viagra facts. <laughs> I've never taken it, by the way, so... Yeah, really? and I just read it for the articles. <laughs> I, I snorted it. <laughs> I snorted it. it. You know, if you stick it up your, you know, your tuchus, it'll go, it'll kick oh, in. Oh wow! The <laughs> nice. <laughs> butt you come, shot. You come for the books, you stay for the butt med tips. All right, <laughs> Thanks, that, <Papa> <laughs> that nice. Is, 
That is time. I'm going to drop the end line. Pop boy, that's a good lot, man. Thank you. <laughs> there, there it is. All right. You coming up, up all up for uh, tricky. <laughs> coming up next is Cat60, who has to come up with new medical facts. <laughs> I got nothing, man. <laughs> all right. So if you thought the last one was fucked up, okay. I got, I got, this is lot number one. <clears throat> It's a weird lot. So these are two side books that kind of go like this um, for Spawn um, 285, which actually is what God Country, <clears throat> the God Country um, cover the spawn variant is made from so this is this is lot number one what are you starting it at that's going to start at twenty dollars three books okay now here's lot number two this is this is darth vader 2015 including Number three. I don't feel like going through the whole thing. They're all here. One. You saw three. There's two. Remember, saw three, four, five. You get the point, right? They're all here, including the annual. <clears throat> I'm going to start this at 150. So, and they're all, all these books are in, you know, mint shape, near mint. They're the uh, I'll show you the condition of three because that's like the most important one. So it's going to be S and D. I just want to say thanks to the 25 people still watching us. Um, keep up. Make sure you uh, share with your friends and hit that like button. And the and this book, this book here, um, all of these are mint as well. You know, near mint. You know, they're all contenders. But this is a really kind of a cool concept. Yeah. Um, and it's also one of our spec books. So I got this and this. 60 likes, we're going to do a giveaway as well. All right, we got 90 seconds left on some evil or some evil goodness. Weapon X wants you to have three lots for the next go round. <laughs> why? Why wait? <laughs> no, I'm not yeah. doing it. <laughs> not gonna happen. I was excited. I got the last three of the the spawn. Whatever spawn came out this week, the Bozeman tribute covers uh to to hook up some of my friends who are both spawn and black panther fans that's kind of a weird weird fanfare spawn yeah. and black panther uh, they're like me they read everything it doesn't make sense all right we got 30 seconds left on either the spawn three-way connect and cover uh, or all of the Darth Vader in the world. All the Darth Vader in the world. I just feel like showing all my books. Yeah. This is the tour of your, your PC. Actually, uh, the tour of my copies of my PC. Nice. <laughs> 
All right, that's time. If you are interested in either of those goodies, hit up Cat60 on the Instagram. Coming up next is Collector's Den. Yo, what's up? All right, I got two lots. I'm going the Cat60 route, I think. So I got a <laughs> copycat. Superman. I believe the, this is the Jim Lee cover. Right here. Superman, and I got a little 20 center. I mean, it's a little rough shape, but I mean, overall, very good. Some foil goodness. As you can see, um, they're in very good condition. Oh, I like that one. All my books are in good condition, as you can see. All right, so I'm gonna that at. do this one at um, fuck it, ten bucks. You know, ten bucks right here. If you want some Superman, that's a sick ass lot for ten bucks, man. And then All I got right. a Batman one, Joker cover. This is that uh. I want to say first appearance of uh no, it's not. It's Arkham Knight, but a variant cover. That's the number one too, isn't it? Nah, I don't. I don't know what this one is. It, this is, and I. This is uh one of my specs right here. First cover appearance of that uh. That Batman. Cat. What is it called? That. <laughs> well, he's racing, so it kind of with the new movie coming out. You know, he he has that new hot rod, car. Mm. So I, I, you, got, I love you got a few copies for specking on it or no? I spec that's a collector's den spec. And then this is um what's his name? Oh man, I forget I'm his name. I know, but I'm giving away <laughs> that slide for my in my giveaway. And a sick ass <laughs> cover right here. Cat oh, I love this one. I'll start this one at 15 just because it's you know my favorite joke. Movie. So, fifteen and ten starting bids. All right, both starting lines are live. 15, and baby. so is the timer. And then I got some bin and nows. Uh, New Gods number two, awesome condition right there. That it displays very beautiful. Sixty-five bucks. Uh, Captain America. This is a fifteen center. Ten bucks. We got a Miss America lot, nine bucks, forty bucks. It's only missing number one, three, and nine. Forty bucks, and then uh, of course my uh, Deadpool rare for one sixty. Oh, and uh, Brave and the Bulls first appearance of the Teen Titans for three hundred. That's a hey, four point oh. Four point oh. What Deadpool point. is that? The Deadpool. No, it's dead poo. Oh, oh, dead poo. Yeah, that one. And there's tape on those boobies. Mm-hmm. All right, we're just under two minutes. Superman lot, uh, ten bucks. Ten doll hairs. Some classic. Me and you got a lot in, in common today, Cat Sixty. Uh, I'm just here showing off. Hey, that one where that one where he's in a cocoon is a key, right? Mm, you know what? I'm not sure. It's I a, heard a, something about it's it. It's a key of some sort. It has something. Yeah. It's a key for sure. I, I can't remember, but I forget. But yeah, ten bucks, and then the Batman lot with my uh, beautiful covers that I love so dearly. But nobody else does. I got some personal spec books as well, bro. Is that 41 or 42? Which the, one? The last one you just showed. That one. 40. Oh, 43. This is a first appearance of, I forget his name. I think Agu said it's Bloom. Yeah. 
Bloom. Yeah, Mr. Bloom. Yep. Mr. Bloom. And he got go. Papa Wheelie in at 10 bucks on the Superman lot. Okay. Superman, all right, for sure. I'll throw in something else, too. Did we ever figure out what that cover is? That hey, what's that, what issue number is that one? That Superman with the cocoon thing on it. This one is 687. And then a beautiful foil cover. And then uh, Jimmy Olsen. I got to figure out that glare situation I got going on all the time. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. All righty. All right, Papa Willie, I'll get back. I'll get to you on the shipping. And I'll throw in something else, too. All right, sounds good. Next up is Foiled, who's still probably cleaning up his water from an hour ago. <laughs> Picking up after his grandma. Yeah. Yo, yo, no, yo. We'll, we'll this up. Skip. What is, what is whoa. <laughs> Jerk. Bomb. All right. Um, remember, guys. Spawn tens, ten dollar piece, two for two for fifteen, three for twenty. I have eight left because Poser bought two. I stuck to my word. I'm selling ten of them. Um, so this little, for this little goody goody, we're going to do some Star Wars Republic. Which will include, by the way, this will be starting bid of um, $35. Okay. Hey, that first, that Superman was uh, the first appearance of the Eradicator. Um, Star Wars Republic 48 through 56. Starting off at, what I say, 35 Yep. And if you notice, this is the cameo appearance of Asajj Ventress. Um, but yeah, that's key right there. That's a dope cover. But yeah, it has cameo appearance of Asajj Ventress in it. All of these are minty, minty, minty fresh. No, right. The timer is around. Yeah, thirty-five bucks. First appearance of Asajj Ventress. First cameo appearance, excuse me, um, of Asajj Ventress. Go look it. If you don't believe me, look it. <laughs> but um, but yeah, honestly, for a first cameo appearance, in my opinion, this is probably w one of the best. You know first cameo appearance cover art. I mean, that's just a super sick cover. Tacoma wants to uh, what's the, how many books? All right, so the how many books? Oh, by the way, there are, um, I believe, one or two newsstand, um, which we all know Dark Horse Star Wars is pretty rare. Newsstand. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books. Um, and I have plenty of other Star Wars too, so we can keep building. But there are exactly one newsstand in this lot. Star Wars Public 48 newsstand. Um, I don't believe that's a key. I will check for you right now. Last time I checked, I did not believe so. We got 90 seconds left on the clock. Oh, hey, what do you know? First appearance of Dirge. You also have that, guys. How many issues, Foil? <sighs> I believe I said nine. Three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nine books. Yeah, Star Wars number 48 is not a key, but it is newsstand. 
Um, and as far as the Star Wars Dark Horse newsstand stuff, um, they were only available and limited to bookstores such as Barnes and Nobles and whatnot. But um, so why do we only see the top of your head? Um, because that is quite. There's the angle that the. Uh, because he loves headlights and he's got headlights. Exactly. What's the dude from Home Improvement who looked over the fence? Will Wilson. 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 <laughs> Wilson. What? His middle, Wilson's middle name was spoiled. Yeah. I have no clue what you guys are even talking about. No spoiled Wilson. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly <laughs> sorry, but yeah. He's like, all I've seen is fun. Ten <laughs> seconds. You're going to have to change your name from Foil to Star Wars. Yeah, Sorry. it should be some sort of, like, Darth Foil. Star Wars again comics. <laughs> All right, here comes your end line. Nobody or Chewbacca. Wants, nobody wants cameo of Asajj Ventress. <clears throat> we really only want Darth Vader. I know, sorry. That's why Star Trek is better. Shut up. <laughs> more, it's more better. Star Trek is not better. I am sorry. <laughs> you guys have any of them uh, Spock books? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a failed attempt. I'm sorry. No, but it, it was, was funny. That. You I'm just aren't like, smart enough drinking. to get it foiled. I'm one drinking. Oh, shit. I've never seen that before. I was actually waiting for the drum. The drum. But it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So here we got is a Defenders 1 through 12. Buy it now at $18. Got the full nice. lot. 12, Two and for all your Doctor Strange fans, one nice. be with Doctor Strange fan nice. personally. And then our auction is ASM six hundred one, a J Scott Campbell art. This is going to be a starting bid at thirty five dollars, and if it hits seventy five dollars, oh. we'll be throwing in six hundred seven in. There are two little spine ticks in this book in the. All I, I see, you guys can all I see, see are boobies. Right <laughs> where my pointer. <laughs> all right. No, yeah, no, no. I still see boobies, man. All right, where's that spine yeah. tick? Nope, still boobs. <laughs> right. That's yeah, not if a I see the boobs. That's not a pressable fold. Nah, pressable. Color breaking. I was talking about the boobs. <laughs> 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 Start that off. But I only see two boobs. The book has a huge crack in it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, would she be considered a spinner? Maybe. I mean, my God! Look at her! Look at her ways. She she puts Barbie to shame. Viagra makes any girl a spinner for you. Whatever a spinner. What's a spinner? She's she's got boobies and butt going on, man. I mean, that's hot. That's a spinner. Yeah, spinner. On your on your next round, Cat Sixty, you can uh, act out. I could demonstrate that's, a spinner. Yeah. That's seventies a seventies definition of a of a girl with boobs and a butt. You'd have to call a fucking ambulance, <laughs> dude. <laughs> then I also have these for an additional five dollars. Yeah, you might as well get that black girls. Cat. The black cat, yeah. All right, we we got just under ninety seconds left. All right, I'm sorry, man. That's an awesome lot. I would so be into that. It's a good lot. It's all good. That's a spinner lot like, right there. You might like this one. <laughs> She's a spinner for sure. Yeah. 
That's my favorite out of all the black cat one. Spinner. You know, the you definitely get get a, a nine point eight at least on that. Because the, the grader would only be looking at her boobs and they look pretty good to me. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> And it gives a new definition of having a spinner rack in your collection. <laughs> the 30 seconds. Uh, I have a wall rack. A rack. By the way, I just touched myself. <laughs> and when people ask me why I don't tell my students the name of my YouTube channel, this is why. This is why. Hey, Poser, we, we're going to have to have a talk a little later then. Okay. <laughs> you, you may have to come off with some money. Oh, yeah? <laughs> All right. That was that was the timer. Uh, All right, guys. Now it's up to uh, AMKM to uh, one-up the spinner rack. <laughs> What you got, AMKM? All righty, guys. I got me some more indie goodness. We're going to go with Aliens Genocide number one. It's a 12-book lot. We're going to start this at 10 bucks, Poser, and um, we're still going to keep it with the $8 shipping. Hey, man, didn't Marvel just uh, acquire Aliens? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm doing all this, guys. Jump on it if you want. Aliens, Genocide, number one. Aliens, Rogue, number one. Aliens, Earth Angel, number one. What is it? Aliens, Colonel Marines, Marines. Oh, yes, number one. Aliens Berserker, number one. And I don't know what this, I just found this to throw it in there. Aliens Lovesick, number one. We'll throw this Predator Cold War, number one. And then the the rest is kind of like a connecting. It's Cold War, Predator, number two. And if you see, wait, let me see on this side. Goes like that with issue three. And then it goes like that. Nice. Oh, cool. All right. And then that's that. And then Predator versus Magnus Robot Fighter number one. And issue number two. Nice. So all 12. Starting at 10. All right, here comes your starting line for a bunch of alien and predator goodness. Those connecting covers on the predator book are pretty cool. Yeah, I like yeah. that kind of stuff. And yeah, this is your chance to pick up aliens and Predator books at a good price before these start going up when we see how the House of Mouse is going to mess with the aliens. Can I see your connecting covers again? Oh, yeah. Let me get to them. So, so it's two, three, and four that's connecting? Yeah, because for some reason, number one, or I don't know if I'm missing that actual number one, is missing this part of uh, that, but it's the rest of them connect. Yeah, they like would that. go. So there's a Batman and versus Predator with connecting covers. They would look really sick next to those. Yeah. And then bam. Nice. Like on this one, like the bullet is going through. So you see all the blood splat through this side, just going this way. And then. I think it's the same predator. He's just going, just you know how they um, 
just move, I guess, quickly. So he's just going through all the soldiers at once. And obviously, obviously still, those are out of print and never being printed again as well. So, oh yeah, something to consider when when buying these slot. It's a sick ass lot. Yeah, yeah, it especially since those. Marvel's gonna gonna run with it now. Oh yeah, um, which, which you know, will be Marvel, nice, but you know, like these things will just these will climb, you know. Yeah, forever. well, Marvel will Marvel will blow it up, and then people will realize, oh my God, they had these. Yeah, we've already got Marvel, Marvel. we've already got issues coming of Marvel of, of Predator versus Spider Man. Like they're already in the works. There's already printings of of covers for these books, so these will definitely like forever hold their value and, and go up and up. Just on Papa, you should just go ahead and bid. You don't gotta wait. Just bid. Yeah, Matthew, I'm telling you, this is a safe bet. A safe bet. Well, you, you know what? Even if they didn't KM, these will be good later. This is a sick ass lot. Oh, I know. I was thinking about um doing them separate later, and doing them only for the first time together today. Yeah, for sure. I threw up a lot, and uh, there we go. Papa Willie's gonna yeah. ten. Nice. Papa Willie's gonna cash out. Later. Yeah, man. I actually have so many. <laughs> I already have so many. All right, timer's about to go off. There you go. That is it. Sold and a hell of a steal to Papa Wheelie. There you and go, Pop. You Pop. Gotcha. Put this in your box. Thank you, if Papa Wheelie. Those and don't like them, I will buy them off of you, Matthew. <laughs> yeah, for sure, Papa Wheelie. I'll do the same if, uh, if if he doesn't take them. All right. The man who's streaming has gotten a lot better since we stopped having to look at him. J1. <laughs> uh... Hey, the, the computer was doing us a favor. <laughs> you're 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 muted, J one. Dusted, dusted. Yeah, we're gonna have to run the dust. Right here, right here. His shadow. Him not <laughs> dusted. Don't <laughs> drop it. Stop it. All right. Well, I was trying to find some something, something that you guys might like. You guys didn't want the last order, so. Although I did make a good trade with Starscream, I bet he does. Work on it. About Marvel, Star Wars, these are all very good. Very good copies. That's all. That's all. That's the that's the highest grade I'm going to give them. But I have uh, twenty six. 28, 64, 61, and 25. And 25 is probably the prettiest copy, but I'm going to start this at $10. Wow. Shit, instead of the ridiculous name of this auction that Cat60 came up with, we should have just called this the Star Wars Sunday auction and some <laughs> other shit. <laughs> Come on, man. That one I came up with is pretty freaking funny. You like me uh, superimposing my oh. head on Gozer's body? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is that all. Oh. This is that Viagra song. Well, which. Yeah. Would they rather, like, first oh, aliens? Cool. First aliens versus Predator? Nice. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Just it's hard to throw these books up when I can't sell, you know. Right. We need to we need to hit the insta and start tagging tagging more people. By the way, we just hit fifty likes. Did we? We gotta get sixty. Sixty gets the giveaway, guys.
All right, just under and two I'm minutes not, left on some see, of this. I'm not a huge Star Wars comic guy, so I don't know if these are anything special or just you know regular old throwaway issues. So, boiled to the man, where are you at, boiled? Talk about these. So you have some wars going on in the stars, and there's some pew pew and some pee pee and some newsstands. Right. Means you can get them at Barnes and Noble, and the like. You mean you mean these? You know, I prefer I prefer the the comics with the actual like pictures on them. I don't know why. I mean, I understand why people like newsstands, but for me, I would much rather not have a barcode on the phone. I would make sense. With that. Like, it does it really matter? One, two. It's an ugly barcode where you have like a picture of Spider Man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just naysaying, I suppose. Oh, and if anybody's interested, I have some Ice Cream Man number 20. Let me move that a little. Third print. This is like my favorite cover. I, I love, dude. They're laying down, blood dripping out of his head with that the bloody axe sitting there with ice cream man. That's my favorite. Have you have you seen the fourth printing? Yes. The green eggs and ham. Oh, that's so cool. Oh yeah. I wanted the Dune. Um the Dune. I can't even know what remember what it's stupid Dr. Seuss Dune variant. That was awesome. I have a I'll, I'll find where I stuck it now. I'll, I'll show it in between. Uh, but I got the print in my comic, Tom, the Dune Dr. Seuss tribute. Yes, I have that. I actually was just looking at it. Here, hold on two seconds and I'll show it. It was awesome. Yeah, I was really excited when I saw that one. I was just in my... Uh, uh, mine's mine's bigger, and it's oh, green. You got the big one. See, I didn't get the big print of Dune. I got this. Oh, I got that, and then. Comic Tom, oh, you suck. He knows. Isn't that nice, too? <laughs> yeah. I don't like you right now. Don't talk. 573 out of 600. So maybe if you want it, we can we can work something out. Excuse me. All right. Uh, so we're back up to me. I will uh, hawk the same two things I've been talking about all night if you've not gotten your pre-order yet on the crossover exclusive that a bunch of us in the group worked on uh 50 bucks shipped gets you the virgin variant and the trade dress it is justine franny cover art it looks insane this book is going to be amazing uh so why not get something that's in a 500 limited print run. And when I posted this on Instagram, someone said that they think this is the most limited exclusive print run that they've seen. Uh, so that's cool. And then my poser pile mystery box, I have already officially sold one of them. So I've got nine more up for grabs, $35 shipped. So you're paying what, 20, 27 bucks for a mystery box and getting at least uh, 38 to $40 in books. I think, Without factoring in the value of the grand prizes, I think the highest lot or highest book set was like 75 bucks um, with some cool variants and stuff. So, like I said, if you want one, let me know in the chat or um, on my Instagram. So, we are back up to the top of the rotation. The man of bats and popsters and the number 23. What you got for us? Uh, I got two by it now since we were talking about ice cream, man. Oh. 50, 50 shipped. 
There's a couple. Yep, that's a pretty one. So I'll do 50 shipped on it. 9.8 right now is going for like 125 on eBay. And I'll do 45 shipped. Ooh, nice. On this one. That's a good price, man. That's You're not gouging. That's good. Hey, you know that they're saying, Batman, that the 1 in 10 might be lower than the 1 in 25? Yep. yep. Dude, that's a good deal. Good deal. Um, And then, so those are just buy it now. I'm going to do the same thing I did with Batman lot. Or, yeah. I'm going to do the first 10. We'll start this at 15. There's a total of 23 books. So we'll do every $5 to get another four books. You got just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. So I got the yeah. whole, whole run that goes all the way up to 23. We'll start the first 10 at 15. Got it. There is your starting line, folks. I'm starting the timer now. Some good new 52 Justice League. I really like this whole run. Mm -hmm. uh, that it might be one of my favorite Justice League setups. It's a really good read. I, like, I enjoyed reading it for sure. No, and the cover work on some of those is really good, too. So that is a steal for essentially $30. You are getting the full run of, yep. of Justice League from the new 52. And it, it, it's almost like everything New 52 is getting some kind of heat to it, even though there are people saying that Rebirth might be where the focus is after, um, what, the Flash movie? Yep. So, again... All Rebirth, like, all rebirth right now is blowing up. Like it, yeah. So that's, that's a good pickup, just like we were saying with those... Um, Alien and Predator books earlier that these are these are a solid investment that the value of them will go up, not down. Except for that Aquaman cover. You can set right. Aquaman on fire. He can die in a tire fire. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Every time you wanted him, I thought you wanted him choked out. Yeah, by Namor. I'm still waiting to, to fill up a box with Todd so I can get my uh, Aquaman Namor snuff art. <laughs> I can draw you some of that. Some green. I like him. I'm not a huge Namor fan. You can do that, and that, I'll just decorate my whole room in, in tricky and gorilla Todd, giving me different ways that Namor can kill kill Aquaman. All right, we are just <laughs> under a minute left on the clock. All right, and then here's the next five. This one is like, uh, this is the key, I think. Everybody's. Yeah. Sweet cheetah cover. So that was the next five. Oh, and Papa Wheelie swoops in at 15. All right. So one through fourteen. There he is. All right, that is time and Pop Wheelie. You can work out with with Popstar on Instagram if you want to upgrade or if you want to hold at that initial fifteen. Thank you, sir. So, good pickup. Good pickup. And now. We got the Trinket Trapster. 
Damn, that's a clean logo. Shit. All right, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna. I might start just doing buy it now. Uh, from from now on. But while I show these, I want to explain uh, kind of something, an idea that I had. So first, I will show these. I have Itchy and Scratchy one. I have the Simpsons one. I have the Bartman one with the foiled silver oh, ink back covered. And then I have Radioactive Man one. Uh, this is just going to be a buy it, buy it now. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but you can see his like bones in here because yeah. uh, he's radioactive. So I'm going to do this in my Lobo lot, uh, $20 each, okay? So buy it now is uh, $20, and I'll just hold up like the issues while I explain uh, what's going on while I have time. Um, so I have buy it now, Simpsons, buy it now, Lobo, $20 each, uh, shipping not included. All right, so I I bought a collection of comic books, and because of that collection, I have a lot of, meaning a few hundred books, that are completely worthless, okay? Completely shit. So what I uh, what my proposal is, is that I am creating a <clears throat> Tricky's A-OK, -okay, Tricky Trapster's A-OK, -okay, and here's what's going to happen. It's $30 all in. I fill up a $15... A flat rate box full of these shit books and you give me an address and I will A-OK -okay them to any YouTuber that un unboxes on their channel live. Okay, so what happens is you give me you give me the address, they get the A-OK -okay, and you get to watch them <laughs> unbox the shittiest comics they've ever <laughs> received in A-OK. -okay. So $30 <laughs> all in gets you the Tricky Trapsters A-OK -okay box, okay? So you're paying basically 15 for the books. You're paying 15 for the shipping. And it's, I don't know how many I could fit. I could probably fit 40 or 50 in like a $15 flat rate box. Yeah. And they will, they will open up that. They'll do the, they'll do their videos. I got an AOK -okay from somebody I don't know. And I'm going to open it on video and you get to watch their faces as they open the shittiest AOK -okay they've ever gotten. So this is nice. tricky. AOK. -okay. I need to make, I make money off these books. You get entertainment out of these books, and someone gets books uh, that you get to watch them unbox that they didn't really want, and that's kind of funny. So, uh, Tricky's a okay, thirty dollars all in. You DM me if you want it. You type it in the chat if you want a Tricky's a okay. Give me an address. I'll send them anonymously to anybody you want. That's how I should have built my get this shit out of the house box. That's <laughs> well, you know, to be fair, I'm I'm basically saying this is all worthless. Yeah. You know, you know, so but it's fun and funny. So tricky's a okay, it's thirty dollars all in. Uh and then also I got these twenty dollar buy it now lots with the Simpsons, all issue ones. As you see. Okay. Itchy and scratchy one. Issue one, all near mint copies. Bartman, uh, you got the, you got the silver ink, you know, hilariousness. Then you got that Lobo lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books. Issue one, there's like three issue ones in here. There's some mini series in here. Uh, there's some foiled junior goodness in here where he's pointing at his junk. <laughs> and uh, you got that Lobo's back booty crack lot okay and you got the tricky say okay which is thirty dollars all in where i basically mail your favorite youtuber an a-okay -okay anonymously and they open live the worst books they've ever received so type it in the chat or hit me up on dm those tricky tricky i have an endless amount almost of the tricky box <laughs> i'm gonna the have to hit you up on one of those you got a good They're note from Weapon X on that one, right? Open live on YouTube on the yeah, box. Yeah, yeah, that'll be dope. I'll do anything you want. You know, this is this is for those YouTubers who 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 open live. It's perfect for them. That's brilliant. <laughs> I appreciate uh, you guys. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> Damn, that's a clean logo. Instead of making him big, I kicked him out of the stream. My bad. There you go. <laughs> all right. So uh, I've got an Iron Man lot. These are all like very good to find. Um, they're still, they're still, uh, 
viable books though. So this is um, Iron Man 111, 112, 114, which is the first Arsenal uh, Alpha Robot. Then you got 116, 117, 119, 126, 119. And then um, this is 143, which is... Um, 143 is the first appearance of Sun Centurion. Um, 151, 172, and the third, uh, the number three, um, king size annual. Nice. I'm gonna start this at 20 bucks. Now, if this gets to if this gets to 50. Um, I'm going to throw these two in. Um, this is an actual real key. This is the first appearance. Uh, this is one, one eighteen first appearance of James Rhodey Rhodes, um, who was the war, uh, war machine. And then this is one twenty two, which is the origin of Tony Stark. So those are pretty decent keys. Nice. Now, that starting on, line that was is live. The timer is working for a nice little Iron Man lot. That is a nice one. Yeah. yeah, less than two bucks a book, man. Yeah. What's the starting line? 20? Yep. Mm. Can the panel bid? For some yeah, I didn't date. say no earlier. Yeah, you know, if there's nobody bidding, why not, right? Well, That's if dope, nobody but... bidding, I will. <laughs> well, pop a bid in, man. Get this action rolling. I mean, like I said, they're mostly uh, very good to find. Um, the, the one that's the one that's um, so this one, which is a key, this is fine plus. I mean, this is this is a pretty a fairly expensive book. It's worth the fifty bucks. All what, right. what's the book? We're at Lost Cause after a flurry of bidding. Lost Cause is the highest at twenty two. These are all Bronze Age, right? Yeah, these are all Bronze Age. Yep. We've got four four active bidders now. J1 Bob's at 25. I'm a huge Iron Man fan. It's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky's out. I just got a minty Iron Man 2 just the other day. Oh, no way. What did that yeah. run, dude? Uh, the guy, it's one of my LCSs. He did me a really good deal on it and uh, sold it to me for 90 Wow, that's a fucking deal. Yeah. Lost Cause is folded. So we got 27 seconds left. So if it holds, it's going to J1 Bob for 25 But someone can swoop in. Make him spend more of his money. Fifteen more seconds. <laughs> I only need like half of those too. That's what's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have the two keys, so I won't be upgrading. Just so you know. That's okay. All right, that is the timer, and it is sold to our man from Oklahoma. I appreciate that. Thank you, uh, A1. All J1, right. J1A Bob. 
coming up next, we got the Collector's Den. What you got for us this round? All right, I got a little lot of Batman. Some thick-ass covers. And of course, some uh, Collector's Den spec. There's a first appearance in here of a uh, monitor. I'm pretty sure he's coming up pretty soon in the new uh, storyline that's going on. We got a first appearance of Mrs. Freeze. First appearance of... Uh, He's like a, a watcher type character. Uh, I forgot his name. This one has like a spine tick right here. So I'm gonna start these off at seven. Seven dollars. All right. So with that, I start that off at seven. Oh man. All right, we'll start off at six. Since that one foul. But every um. Every two bucks gets you another book. Some uh, Long Halloween. So every two dollars will get you a get you a book, and I can go all night. All right, a six dollar, good old. Batman and Friends Builder Lot. What number is that Batman Beyond? This one is number 26. Cover A. Badass Joker on there. First appearance of uh, Nick Sultan. Mrs. Freeze. And uh, Fuja. I forgot his name, man, but. I got all this cool shit to say, and then when I'm on here, I forget everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And I got, got some shit in uh, Third print, minty as fuck. You send that in the CGC guarantee 9.8. I got that for 300. Um, it's Batman and Robin. You'll never find that in a 9.8. I got that for 75 bucks. And I got this Walmart pack for 10 bucks sealed. Uh, Peach Momoko, Captain Marvel for 25 bucks. And Hulk for 259.8 newsstand for uh, second appearance of Rocket Raccoon. Can I see the uh, Batman and Robin? It's an old CGC case. Yeah, that cover's hard to find. Yeah, it's hard. These books in general are, are hard to find in good grade because um, yeah. something about the covers, I don't I guess the type of uh, paper they used or whatever. Yeah. Really hard to find the 9.8. I don't want to drop it. Yeah, seven bucks starting bid and every uh, two bucks will get you a, a cool book. Just some random, you know, random stuff. Oh, that's a good Catwoman cover. That Catwoman cover right there is like eight bucks alone. It's worth a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, all my books are in really good grade. So. That Doomsday uh, Superman well, cover, too, is worth a lot, too. Oh, yeah. Um, boom. <laughs> I figured why not spend more money tonight, so I've bid at ten dollars. Oh ten dollars? Okay. Poser, if you weren't if you didn't, I was going to. <laughs> and Matthew is gonna make me work for it at eleven. What issue of Doomsday Clock is that? Is that one? That's number one. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. Uh, actually, Papa Willie's really into Catwoman, so that's why he's in there. But yeah, that that, that first issue is dope. And uh, beware of Sideways. I mean, I haven't seen him pop up on the multiverse stuff lately. But I mean, he's a pretty good character. I think uh, we'll be seeing. All right, that's time. So we'll see who wins, me or Matthew. I'm up to 13. 
Papa Willie's got a big oh. ass bill in his hand. Let me like, see. Buying all the shit. Start off at six. Okay. Damn. Hey, coming, hey, coming in strong at fourteen. Hey, Papa Willie, if you can hop on Instagram and tag some people uh, in this uh, in this description of this uh, post, that'd be dope, man. I tagged as many people as like as like as I could think that actually oh, that fourteen. At 14. Nice. At 60 I likes, we're doing some up. giveaways as well. 15, 16. Oh, you get my beautiful cow woman. I love this cover a lot, man. Yep. Damn. Oh, it's, so, it's so funny because Callie, Callie wants that other cat woman cover so bad. I know he does. That uh, <laughs> old school one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. I like yeah. that one too. Oh, just like in fantasy football, I call Matt that the Miley Cyrus card. I call that the Miley Cyrus Catwoman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I, do you got any more than ponchos? I need to get me one of them. You know what? No, I don't. <laughs> All right, uh, I will. Uh, collector's Den, since I'm clicking over to the next, uh, I'll, next throw this in for free. I'll throw it in. Fuck it. Thank you. Let me let me know how much I owe you with shipping, my guy. Okay. And we are up next to... Where'd Foil go? Dusted. Yeah, Foil's not even in the stream anymore. His grandma Stew. kicked him off. His grandma yeah. kicked him off. Yeah. Did not did not pay the Comcast bill, so we will skip uh, over to Evan, Big Baby Collectibles. All right, all right, guys. Well, I got a nice little lot for you guys here. We're going to do a little Bronze Age lot. All right, Builder lot. We're going to start this at $5.00. Start with Hulk two ninety one. Super nice book. You said you started at what? Five dollars. And Every how many or every how many dollars? If it hits seven dollars, I will throw in this copy of well, I'm grabbing it right here. Jungle action number two. Five more likes, me and Poser are doing a giveaway. And I'm starting the timer and I'll see if bids pop up, but since I gotta figure out what I'm giving away. Thank you again to 24 people still here watching us. I appreciate it. So I'm guessing, Poser, you never figured out that music thing, did you? No. Because <laughs> I think the only other way I have to do it is like... I think, like the videos I was watching said, you could share uh, your screen without uh, having to share the screen. Mm -hmm. But then it goes away. So I'll try it again. And I'll, I'm just giving you hell. Sid block. If my computer was strong enough to handle OBS and I could set up nine cameras, then I would do it. Now we got oh, Streamception. Uh oh. Damn, that's a clean logo. <laughs> Throw this in at $12. Dude, this is a sick lot. Anytime I see a dance in distress for like next to nothing, 
It's a dope buy. You should save her for five dollars. Seven dollars. Hey, who is that on the further front of that the Hulk cover? Um, honestly, I'm not sure. I love the Hulk in the corner up here. You guys can see it. The deformed that's, Hulk. That's General Ross. General Ross. Okay. If only. The wife of Betty, his favorite love. Is this the father of or the the father? I said wife. Uh, the father. You said wife. 15? Yeah. She's married him, and she and they're both wives. Throw that in at fifteen. Thor two thirty-seven. It's not bad music. If it's eighteen. I'll throw in Hulk two forty-three. Got that low by love, baby. Oh, this is just insane, and nobody's mm. gonna bid on it. You can hear yeah. the music now. Yeah, man. Uh, anyone, anyone in the chat, in the panel, who can who can tag uh, tag a buyer they've sold to in the Instagram. If that's twenty five, I'll throw in Hulk two fifteen. If it hits thirty, I'll throw in Iron Man number fifty one. All right, we got forces working in the background. The likes are at fifty eight, as far as I can see. Poser, I don't know what you got. I got four. We're, yeah. approaching, we're approaching yeah. a giveaway. All right, and that was the timer, and nobody bid on that. And comments on good. the edge. I don't, I don't know if I've ever taken my clothes off on a stream. I think the real comment is, "I'm still awake." You're still awake. <laughs> hey, Evan. All right. Evan. Uh, so it looks like Foiled's grandma paid the internet bill again. <laughs> so no, I don't know what happened, but the Wi-Fi literally just like blew up all at once. <laughs> But 10 for 10. If you are wearing, I'm not wearing pants. Nice. But um, but yeah, we got a nice goodie up here. We have Black Panther uh, Marvel Premiere number 52. I believe this is the first time he fights the KKK. <laughs> All right, and what are we starting this epic piece of history at? We're going to start this off at $20. And yes, it is that special, special. Bring pow. Wait, my bad. Pow. Nope. Pow. Dude, that's hard. Try to figure that out. And, and just so you know, that's not just a new stand. That's that's got the line for the first. Yeah. yeah, that's why I said pow. It yeah. looks like they didn't want to scan the barcode. Is what it looks really like. Um, go look these up. CG seed. Crazy. If this doesn't get bought tonight, I will probably CG see it. Starting at twenty. Twenty dollars. This is ASMR. Royalty and comics. Oh my god! I can take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow! Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we got just okay. under two minutes left. Hey, we're up to twenty-seven go, people go, watching. Go wake your, your grandma up, foil. Foil. You guys enjoy that ASMR. Jesus oh, Christ! Uh, well, your grandma uh, would sell this book. How's that ASMR? And who would give a thumbs down to this? Like I don't understand. Your, your grandma would sell this book on the in the street. It was right, we got 90 seconds left on Black Panther fighting the KKK. Out of all the people people that popped in, you get one that's like, that's like still really well. Yeah. Still really fun. Maybe they came in when you were when you were live, Foil. They came in when you were live and they were like, fuck this shit. Probably. 
<laughs> probably I got my favorite so comment hard. ever the other day. Somebody was like, I watch a lot of YouTube, and this is the most boring shit I've seen in my life. <laughs> like, yes. They popped in right They popped in right when Foil said he had no pants on, and they were unsatisfied. Yeah. All right, we got 40 seconds left on the clock. If this book were written today, I'm sure the review would be that there were very fine people on both sides. <laughs> Actually, you know, they should do Panther vs. the Clan uh, today. Hey, what's it would, up, uh, Antonio? Oh, Princess sending people over. Welcome to the chat. Thanks, Princess. Uh, where is my phone? I'm recruiting first people I gotta... for the second season of my debate show. And there were a lot of people who were like, you should reach out to Comic Games to see if Princess would do it. And I was like, she's only talked once on their stream. I would have to like sell my kidneys to have her debate but i think that would be falling <laughs> as hell i am a, i love i'm a cunning linguist and i love debate i love you watching are? debate uh what do you guys debate uh the topics have changed Ooh. they change each debate so like the final round last week was who was the most iconic uh superhero superman or batman uh, but it's yeah. it's just all kinds of little dyadic topics like that. Foil locked up. Foil, 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 no, foil 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 foil. Yeah, she said it's it's Betty time, little she Jason. Said, if you're not going to listen to me, I'm going to turn this. In. I'm going to pull the plug on this internet. And I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be an ass, but you ain't getting a nine eight out of uh, with a line through the barcode like that either. Yeah, let's not. It's not a. Like, yeah, he he's just he's just showing off. Kind of, yeah. he knows that he's just he's just trying to give some example. All right, since he is frozen and and no one is bid, dusted. Uh, yeah, we will d -d 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 dusted, and we will bring <laughs> on some some AM AM. Dusted, just joking, AM. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you didn't get this, Jay? Shut up. Damn. <laughs> I don't get that either. Wanted to give a shout out to the to, to the boy, man. Check out his Instagram, man. His Nate Johnson. This dude is sick. He's actually our web designer, so. Oh, no shit? Yeah. Reach wow. out to the boy, man. This dude is sick. Sick with his artwork. Nice. Actually, if you guys need anything on your guys' web, too, check him out. Oh, nice. Anyways. We're gonna yeah, do but don't this. promote your boy Cat Sixty. <laughs> <laughs> Cat, we always promote you, Cat. We always promote you. Now I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna start this at 15, and every five dollars I'm gonna add a book. But it's not gonna be a, like a. It's gonna be a good book. So, we're gonna start this at 15. It's gonna be the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, The Sins of uh, Normie Osborn number one. And then we're gonna go with the variant. Nice. We're gonna go. I like this cover a lot. Ghost Spider, number nine. That's yeah, a popular one. Yep. I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be a good lot. If you guys wanna come up, it's gonna be a good one. And Ghost Spider, number 10. Nice. That's a good story, too. It's a good run, right? Yeah. All right. And I'm, Certain four books. And I'm talking about books. like a book like this can be added. Woo. I like Silk. Something like this can be added first print. Oh, hello. Silk, def Silk definitely feels good on the ball. Bam. I don't know if you got oh. your Scotty Young Spider Woman. That is a beautiful, beautiful cover. I like the, the negative space work on that. Yes. He so ripped that off, Scotty did, but he did it so well. I'm just going to add goodness, guys. And then another Scotty goodness. Nice. What are you doing to me, man? I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> I, I got books to add, guys. You guys let me oh know. We're going to start this at 15. Dude. <laughs> All right. The starting line is out, and the timer is now hot. 
dude, J1 just opened his wallet up to you. Oh, <laughs> I hate you. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> you know you're doing it. You can't. No. Hit, you can't not hit a 15. You you know you're doing it. And then you can add whatever you want, Jay. <laughs> not doing it. You How about all of those, Scotty? Like. I just paid you guys off. <laughs> I know. I know. It looks like we're one like away from having a giveaway for me and a separate right, giveaway I just, from the host. I just, I just put it in. <laughs> I have original. I have original art that I've drawn for my giveaway and. Uh, Comic Poser probably has some books he's he's letting go for his giveaway. Yep, I want to grab some off the shelf. Although I could draw draw some original art if you want to too. Ooh, uh, I failed yeah, to be... design in college twice, passed it the third time. Yeah, yeah, you grab from your uh, your PC <laughs> and I'll just draw. I'll have something I'm drawing. You know what, dude? <laughs> Stick figures are in. Yeah. Minty, minty freshness too, Jay. Check that out, bro. Jay wanted that. You better sit on this lot, KM, because like you better wait. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know it's a fire lot too, right? Yeah. The only reason I am not bidding on this is I have doubles of everything that you've shown. That those have been the only Spidey things that I've bought. That's a fun spawn kills the the universe cover though. Sick cover. It's not a Scotty, but I mean similar artwork. Yeah. Robson McFarland. I thought it was just sick. The detail oh, on this. J one's only yes. got another minute to hold off, and we've crossed the threshold. We have sixty-one likes. Thank y'all so much. You may have to put that spawn in my freaking box. Oh, okay, I got you sixty. If you're looking for it, I got you. I like that Fantastic Four cover, too. I got that yep. one the other day. We'll talk later about the ones I don't have. <laughs> Price going to go up. I know. Hey, it's <laughs> weird how some Scotty Young covers hit, but when they hit, they hit pretty good, bro. Yeah. Like, that's why I was trying to do that for a customer today because I know this one's probably going to be a $10 like book pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah, it will. Yeah, that negative space is awesome. And that's time. Can't believe nobody bit on that one. All right. Thank you, guys. I can't believe I made it to the timer. But, yeah, we'll have to know uh, how much you make J1 pay. On the back end, that I expect that to be an Instagram post. <laughs> Speak of the devil, we will gotcha. see what he's got next. You know that you got to buy whatever this man puts up, so he can recycle that money right back to AMKM. I bought some Silver <laughs> Age Action Comics. Wow, this is the highest issue number four hundred two. Uh, it's going to descend down, and uh, I'll do these. Uh, starting at eight dollars, and every eight dollars I'll add a photo. That would be next. Right. Starting line is coming in now. And so we're at sixty. Line. We're at sixty-two likes, man. Yep, I'll show off my giveaway uh, at the right after J one goes, and I'll. Uh, st drop a starting line just for people to put names in to get a wheel going. So we'll do that in a second. And we can pull people from the same wheel. Okay. Are you going to make the wheel? Yeah. That way I can do that while uh, everybody's yeah. selling. But yeah, thank you everybody for coming in. This has been, it was a little slow to the start, but it's it's been fun. For a impromptu Sunday night throwdown. Yeah, pretty good turnout for just like popping up out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm, that, a, I'm in. I'm enjoying the stupid banter too. Yeah. Stupid. Hey, we didn't do this for them. We did this for us. What's more intelligent than that? 
Yeah, this lot's sick. Uh, J1, what are you doing? It's a eight. So this is three seventy nine. Three eighty one. So thirty two dollars gets you that. Three eighty three. Three eighty four. Three eighty nine. Three ninety nine. And four oh two. Wow. Four oh two starts it. Every eight bucks adds a book. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. That's it's a pretty good deal. But if yeah, your intent, is, if your intent is to actually uh, get these gone, eBay, bro, eBay will get you those prices easy. Oh, I know. But I don't. I, I only use eBay for my big books. And yeah, it is kind of a pain to stick in like one book at, per lot at yeah. auction. But you know, you yeah, end up making like, does really all my eBay stuff for me, and I have to pay her a commission out of it because I'm a nice yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got 53 seconds to get in on this uh, but action comics action. It's seven books in all, and uh, all for uh, all seven, I could do uh, 60 shift. That's a hell of a deal for 30 something for 30 some books. Your your lot puts my next lot to shame as far as price goes. <laughs> Trying to be good. That's good, man. That's real good. But, you know, there's 26 people, probably only a few bidders. Got to take that in mind, you know. I know. That's why I'm not like throwing if, if we had, out. If we had, say, if we had, say, you know, a few hundred people following, this shit would be, like, flying. Yeah. yeah. But like I there said. Five seconds. Let me show them all one more time. If anybody's interested and wants to reach out to me, go ahead. Yeah, that's a sick lot. Holy shit. Earth. It is what it is. Yeah, I, I got a lot coming up that nobody's going to bid on, but it's actually really kind of cool stuff. Nice. All right. Anyways, everybody. I'm so gonna, put in chat what you want. Yeah. What are y'all feeling? Uh, another rotation of everybody. Two more rounds. Y'all tell me what you think. I'm good. Let's go all night, baby. Hey, uh, after, after uh, let's say, you know, what do we got going on on Strictly? Let me check this shit out. I, I haven't you know. sold a book yet, so. Strictly Strictly's over. We just need We just need a little push as far as people – People uh, telling every telling people about it. We could we can go a few more. And I know I know you got to sleep, man. Yeah. Uh, but you got that giveaway too. Let's go on, baby. The folks who are in here, type something now. I dropped a starting line to just type any kind of gibberish, and I will add you to the wheel. <clears throat> I'll show what I'm giving away, and then I'll pull up tricky real fast. Uh, so I'm giving away Superman Year One. The full DC Black Label series. Oh, number nice. one. Some Frank number Miller art there. Number three, it is some Frank Miller goodness. These uh, were retailed at eight bucks a pop, so twenty-four dollars worth of magazine magazine size goodness in there. So if you want on the wheel, just type anything, and I'll vamp for a minute. I'll show you the two other things that I'm plugging. Uh, and I'll also show you, here's here's Tricky. Tricky, what do you've got for the giveaway? All right. So uh, I have a picture. This is a uh, Bernie Wrightson homage to Batman, uh, his Batman sketches. Now, I'm an original comic art collector. If you look up Batman sketches, Bernie Wrightson, you will find a lot of gargoyle action with Batman. But this is a uh, Talon on top of this. So this is, you know, Bernie Wrightson homage Talon giveaway. Now, fortune for it favors the bold, guys. So, bid on my lots uh, tonight, and I'm you won't get any extra per perks as far as uh, what you can see. But fortune favors the bold. Okay, so uh, this is the picture I drew. It's original art. Uh, it will, if you you know, hopefully you buy a lot from me, and I will send it with that. If not, I will send it separate to whoever wins this. 
Talon, Bernie writes in homage, okay? All right, put me on because I'm going to give away something. Put them on, baby. All right, here comes some cat. I'm going to give away this. This is black and white comics first print. This is pretty badass. Um, this is Robert Crumb. Um, Are you really selling your Crumb? Or give I'm going to give this away. I got another one on the way. So. Can okay. I be on the wheel? <laughs> Read my yeah, comment in what, chat. What? Yeah, I'll chat. let J1 be on the wheel unless he sells something. <laughs> I want to be on that wheel, baby. Hey, we got, so we got go. Princess of Comic Gains in the comments. Damn. Let's move some morale up in here. What's that? Yeah, that is amazing. Princess, thanks for sending some folks this way. Uh, I'm going to DM you something that I think you might say no to, but uh, people people want to hear you debate. <laughs> hear you right. debate. People All right. Hear just, yeah, people, some gibberish. Anyone wants to be on the wheel, just type wheel or type uh, type poser. Type in poser if you want to be on the wheel for these giveaways. Yeah, I'll least, pull it up here here in a bit, and I'll keep adding some folks. Uh, if, you like, if you like Robert Crumb, stick around for my next one. Hey, <laughs> before you say anything, Poser, Kat, yeah. that is amazing to give away that black and white, man. That is – anybody That's that doesn't know Underground Comics, <laughs> that is a book. No, nobody, Crumb, nobody really understands, but look, I love Poser. I mean – I, I have so much fun with this guy, and if this helps his channel in any which way, shape, or form, I'm more than happy to do it for him. Yeah, I, I see, I'm I'm only 34, and I and I and the why I got I I love comics, but um, the art section is what intrigues me, and obviously, our uh, Robert Crumb is a uh, a legend in the mm -hmm. underground comics realm. So that book is huge. That's a great book. I sold yeah. in the Jabroni auction. Somebody did a big like coffee table collection of his art that my LCS donated. And uh, I sold one of those to, I think it was C squared. Oh, check out what's, cool. check out what's coming up. We got some oh. sick poser drops in the chat for that giveaway. Nice. Those, these giveaways, all these giveaways. Nice. All right, let's hit that rotation, baby. Let's hit that rotation. Pass right. the blunt, pass the yeah. weed. Uh, so I'll plug my two things real quick, and then uh, I'll keep adding people uh, that I see uh, throughout the chat. So the the two things that I've been plugging, um, if you've not ordered your exclusive yet of, of Crossover, the, the Justine Franey exclusive that a bunch of us in the group uh, collaborated on, it's $50 shipped. It gets you the set of the trade dress and the virgin variant it's limited to 500 and as some folks have commented on instagram they said this is the most limited variant they've seen so do with that what you will uh and then the other thing that i've been pushing is the poser pile uh my first mystery box each box is 35 dollars shipped and it's guaranteed to have at least 35 dollars in value the average is around 45 to 50 and that's not including the value of the different grand prizes. So if you want more information in the name of keeping things going, uh, hit me up on Instagram in the DMs and <clears throat> we'll kick it back over to the top of the rotation. I gotta make that smaller, it'll override in. Batman Popster, you're up. He's sitting in his rocking chair right now. Yeah. <laughs> he fell asleep. Sean, you there? Did you, pull pose or did you fall asleep on the stream? He's over there fucking snoozing. <laughs> All right. If he pops back in, then I'll, I'll stick him back up in the order. So the man with the art himself, Tricky mm -hmm. Trapster. All right. For that giveaway, we got this. We got this homage to Bernie Wrightson's Batman sketches, okay? I'm doing just a buy it now from now on, and then I got to explain my, my box. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do this. Um, no, I'll, I'll do this as a bid, but I'll start it at $30. We got your 2099 starter set, baby. We got, we got the X-Men. 
We got the Hulk one and X Men one. We got Ravenger two thousand ninety nine, Ravenger issue two and three. We got Punisher two thousand ninety nine. These are all foiled junior goodnesses. We got ten or I'm drunk. Sorry, uh, Doom two thousand ninety nine, uh, Ghost Rider two thousand ninety nine. We got Spider Man two thousand ninety nine one. We got two. We got three. These are all near mint copies. Nice. We got four, and we got that first appearance again of two thousand ninety nine, starting at thirty dollars, starting bid. Now, as I go through these again, uh, I want to explain my box. Okay, so this is the tricky A OK. I have co a collection of comics that I recently bought that has a lot of garbage in it, books that no one would want if, if they were in their right mind. Now, thirty dollars. Gets you all in, so basically it's fifteen dollars, and then I put, I stuff a flat rate box, fifteen dollar flat rate box, full of comics that no one would want, and you give me an address, I will anonymously send that box to them so that they can unbox them, or unbox them on YouTube, and you get to watch as they unbox the worst comics they have ever gotten in an AOK -okay in their lives. Okay, so thirty dollars all in for them tricky AOK -okay boxes. Uh, and yeah, so $30 all in for that box. They get the box, they unbox it. They like, could you imagine the look on their faces? They're just like, <laughs> they're like, or, or that maybe they're playing it cool. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. So they could be playing it cool. They could be like, this is the worst AOK -okay I've ever gotten, but you get to watch them live unbox the worst AOK -okay they've ever gotten. Tricky's A-OK, -okay, all in at 30 $30 starting bid. Now, what's special about this is not much, but you got Spider-Man 2099 run, one through four, and then you got the first appearance of Spider-Man 2099, along with all these throw-ins. Doom, one, uh, Ghost Rider, one, Ravenger, one through three, which is the most underrated 2099 uh, character, of course. Uh, and... I don't know. Is Ravenger is it Ravenger 2099 the first appearance of Ravenger? Maybe, maybe, baby. I don't know. Uh, he's kind of like a Snake Plissken-ish type, uh, Escape from New York type, uh, I believe. So, I, you know, I'm not expecting much action on these other than this 2099 first appearance, and then you get all these other throw-ins. And then, remember that Tricky's A-OK. -okay. It's going to be hot, you know. People eventually will catch on. Because I have people already interested, have already, are telling me they want one. So, you know, these things are, they're only going to be a secret for so long until people will be like, I think I know what this is. The you worst day. 30 seconds left. Yeah, that's my sales pitch. I don't even need the next, the next 30. We got the foil, okay. Junior. We got the full junior. I, love the I call it full junior because I uh, I had got this collection. I have so much foil to it. I'm foil junior now. So every time I show foil books from now on, it's foil junior books. <laughs> and I dropped some, so there goes the thirty dollars value. Somebody wants to know what you would say the grade is on that on the ASM three sixty five. It's lower now. <laughs> It's lower now. Okay, so I would say I would personally say it's not a nine eight, um, uh, nine four nine six maybe. Okay. I don't think it's a nine eight though. And I, I'm no grader, so I'm no professional. But you know these black covers are are hard to get a good grade in, and this book is so thick that the spine. I don't have. There's no ticks here, but the edges of the spine they like. You know, they're not great. Uh, they're not bad when you look at it like, wow, this book is really nice, but detailed in, you know, probably a 9496. But near mint, that's near mint. So it's a near mint right. copy. Yep. That was Thanks, the man. timer. So, Louie, if you are interested, hit up Tricky on the Instagram and Popster is back. So I will pop him back to his spot in the rotation. What you got going for us now, my guy? All right. So, Marvel Lot. I know, shocker. Um, okay. buy, buy it now, still fifty dollars. Okay. 
buy it now, still forty-five dollars. All right, that's some old school Marvel stuff. Fantastic Four, 377. Silver Surfer, 45. I'm pretty sure I'm reading that right. Um, Ghost Rider, number four. Ghost Rider, number six. Ghost Rider, number 92. Captain America, 381. Captain America, 368. All right, yeah, 368. Uh, Captain America, I think this is uh, annual, I think, maybe? Or 225, there it is. It's up there. Uh, we're starting this at 10. 346. And 20, and number seven. If we get up to thirty dollars, I will throw in Miles Morales. Nice. All right, here comes your starting line. That's a special edition. Yeah, it's the special edition sticker only means that it was supposed to be at a certain store. That's an overseas sticker, is what it is. Mm -hmm. All right, your timer is live. I didn't know that the spe that the special edition was overseas. Yeah, I thought they ran out of stickers for like Hot Topic or. Yeah, that's what whatever. it means. It was special to one of the stores, like Hot Topic or Barnes and Noble or Target or Walmart, and it just came from overseas. Nice. All right, I'm gonna mute myself for a second. If there are bids, will someone call them out, and I'll be back in thirty. And I would just say that these are more reader copies than anything. Um, they're not like in too bad of a shape, but I mean, you can kind of see, I mean, spine ticks all the way down. I mean, it's. But yeah. Yeah, Black Sea Spider. It's Miles Morales is what it is. And he's actually a bobblehead too because all the uh, Marvel Funko Pops are actually bobbleheads. I had one of those and I did it on a giveaway. Right now he's going for $28 is what his PPG is, which is his top price guide just by just himself yeah if toby were still awake he would be begging me to bid on this lot just for just for the miles point. morales because he is a five-year-old that is obsessed with into the spider-verse yeah i like this that ghost rider cable book is a good read And we got about 45 seconds left on the clock. So we'll see if we get any action on Batman Sons of Marvel with a sweet Miles Morales add in. That Magneto cover is dope. Yeah. That's rad, man. Look at that. He's got, yeah, that's sick. Yeah. And uh, then uh, Paladin and Diamond cover, too. I think so. The one before that's uh, Paladin and Diamond, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Look at me with all this knowledge. And I'll I'll spice it up and I'll put Daredevil Ooh. number thirty-two in it. Nice. nice. Got some Serpent Society action there. That's a uh, first. Uh, I think it's the appearance of. Uh, oh man, what is his name? King Cobra or Hyde or Hyde? Hyde, yeah, Mr. Hyde. Yeah, yeah. That was the timer, but I'll give you a few seconds to see if that Daredevil lures anybody in. This is 
a steal is not harsh enough of a word for ten dollars. Right. I would bid, but I would be I would feel like I'm robbing you for ten dollars. I'd rather you keep them. Oh, it's ten dollars now. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's I mean ten dollars is it'd be it'd be uh, selfish of me to put a ten dollar bid in on that. All right. So if you don't have the same morals that, that Tricky does and you are willing to throw ten dollars in or a little bit more than hit up Popster on uh, on the Instagram. But we will move on next to Cat60, and I'll say thank you to the 28 people who are still hanging with us. And I think between once we hit the top of the rotation again, we'll do at least one of the giveaways. And then come back to me after Cat. Okay. All right, I got two um, first prints. Um, little Robert Crumb goodness, the People's Comics, um, number one, and XYZ number one. Um, these books have great stories in them. Um, definitely Americana. Um, they're both very fine plus. Um, I'm gonna start this off at twenty. If you guys want to go up to fifty, I'll toss in these two books. Um, this is, uh, Mr. Natural, um, number, number one. This is the fourth print. Um, this is in like very fine. It's probably in very fine. It's got a stain here. Um, that's about the only thing that's really wrong with this book. Um, this is a stupid expensive book. I just got a, a sticky, I just got a sticky, first print. What's that? Is it a sticky stain or no, it's not a sticky stain, it's a staple stain. The staple <laughs> the staple rusted. Yeah, these books are full of that kind of crap, man. It was so. sticky. All right, okay. here comes your starting line. 20 bucks for these. You want to go up to 50, you can get the big boys. And these are both first prints, too. I mean, this is the kind of shit you find in uh, comic book museums. Yeah. I like the tank and the one that you're holding in your right hand. That's... That's a fun little little war machine. You mean my left hand? You're your left hand, yeah. My right, your left. <laughs> I don't think yeah, this is so good. This is a cool book. I mean, the artwork that this guy did was amazing. You know, the spine is a little... Just under two minutes okay. on the clock. Thank you to the 29 folks currently checking us out and the 65 people who gave us some kind of thumb. Yeah, you guys, you guys should look these up, man. These are really cool books. They're not cheap. Um, the other two are, are really big books, Mr. Natural. And not that these aren't. All right. We are just at a minute left on some crumb goodness. Some XYZ. I got a cool sketchbook of his coming. That's the next thing that I need to get is somebody's sketchbooks. All right, we got 40 seconds left.
All right, we're about to run into that time or so. If you don't bid now, hit up Cat60 on the Instagram and see if you can negotiate your way into some some Robert Crumb goodness. And who said come back to me? Was that tricky? Yeah, I was in the rotation. Did I skip you? I think so. Oh yeah, dude. I I'm sorry. I followed Tricky. No, that's no, no big deal. No trick. I went to you first because uh, I skipped Popster. Shit, that's you're true. Out. That's true. That's true. Sorry, I'm way buzzed. <laughs> no, you're you're good. I my brain is catching up with with the reality events. So next up, coming on stage is the Collector's Den. What you got for us this round? All right, I got a little builder lot. I call this the marble mashup lot. Some Avengers and stuff like that. I'm gonna start this off at 10. I believe this is a reprint. Avengers goodness. What a little Fantastic Four in there. Nice. So every uh, four bucks, Every four bucks, uh, I'll throw in uh, another book. I said Liefeld goodness, baby. Got some Liefeld. You got some Jusco. You know, and I know you guys all like Thanks, some, head, some headshots. Oh, nice. I like that Jean Grey cover. Uh-oh. Oh, squirrel girl. Skip oh, the Viagra. You gotta skip the Viagra on these things. <laughs> and then, uh, my Moira McTagger. Oh, that's a sweet cover. Eastern it's been man, nine point eight all day. So long. Um, all right, yeah, here comes. Here comes you your start line. line. Ten dollars for would, a new book every four. Why would Squirrel Girl not be considered the strongest superhero there is? Her thighs are pretty strong. Because she eats a lot of nuts. Oh. She took down Thanos. Yeah, that's bullshit, though. That's fluff <laughs> to make people buy bullshit. That wouldn't happen. It did? Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe when comics went south, it happened, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bunch of bullshit. Squirrel girl, she's cute. I almost bought the Marvel Legends toys of her. I saw it at Target for like twenty eight bucks. Uh, it was her and a couple things. You would have overpaid eight that. bucks. Huh? You would have overpaid eight bucks. Okay. It's yeah, that, yeah. That, I mean, Marvel Legends are like twenty bucks. Bro. That thing was okay. almost fifty bucks when it first came out. Because yeah. the Squirrel Girl set is big, it's like a double action figure size. It's well, it not comes with a bike. Yeah, oh, it's okay. not a single figure. I, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. This is the mm -hmm. bike it comes with, but I put a um, Transmetropolitan on it. <laughs> nice. And there's a uh, Spider Jerusalem. Nice. Yeah, and it comes with uh, some squirrels and shit. <laughs> some squirrels and shit. All right, we got 90 seconds left on this builder lot. I'm so shocked that Squirrel Girl got her own Marvel Legend, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm scratching my head. <laughs> I need to find the one. Uh, I thought it Jeff the Land Shark was his own figure, but he's paired with someone else. Oh, hello, Die. 40 bucks. 9.8 for sure. And then I got a. For every two bucks, I'll throw in one of these. Do you have the whole run? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's not the whole run, but these are super minty. The variant and the regular, forty bucks, and then every two bucks you'll get uh some re. Well, there's like one reprint in there, but all the rest are original. Mm. And for two hundred, I got Canto. Nice, uh, super mint. Uh. Variant cover also. Number two ruined Canto for me. Yeah. Like Canto two, not like number two. 
but <laughs> number the two second man. volume yeah the second volume just killed it i was done i was lucky to get a really nice copy of this 9.8 probably they were all damaged when i went to go pick it up <clears throat> All right, that's time. So if you uh, want in on any of the the Canto die or Marvel action, hit up the Collector's Den on Instagram. Hit me up. Next, we got the King of the Spawn 10 and spilling water on his floor. Or is he gone again? (laughs) His Wi-Fi is out. Okay, Foiled's gone, so we're going to bring up Bring up Big Baby Collectibles. What you got this round? All right. We got an Ultraman lot of issue one. Issue two. Battle of the Ultra Brothers. Issue one. Issue two. I'm going to start this off at $5. If this is 10, I'll throw in Ultraman number one again. Number three. And number four. All right, there is your starting line, and your timer is beginning now. And you gotta love the tale of the Science Patrol. The beta capsule fighting some kaiju. There's also a really good slam poem about Ultraman and Airwolf by Ernie Klein, the guy who wrote Ready Player One. I'm now out of all of my Ultraman knowledge. (laughs) <laughs> the beta capsule does make an appearance in Ready Player One. Now I'm done. The new Ultraman run isn't too bad. It's only, what, two issues in? No, it's not bad. It's two issues in. I wanted the uh, the action figure variant that came out, but I couldn't find it at either of the shops in my town. I, th- I think those are pretty cool. All I will say if anybody has, has knows where to get a Batman Beyond 48, please let me know. We got just under a minute left on the clock if you want in on some good sci-fi kaiju ass-whooping goodness. time so if you're interested in getting some Ultraman action and you missed out hit up Big Baby Collectibles on the Instagram and coming thank you what? this this is going to be my last live tonight and yeah. I, I wanted to thank thanks you for, for swinging me. by and if we do this again always welcome yep. thank have you a guys. good night I really appreciate it all right, swinging Thank in you, next. Thank you. Is-
AMKM Comics. All right, guys. Got a little builder lot I'm going to do for you guys. I know we hit you with a bunch of Star Wars, but I had this I had this build already. Put uh, this lot built already, so eh, might as well throw it out. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna, I'm going to start with Dr. Afra, but this is all from this these current runs. Number 3. We're going to start this at $15 poser. Got it. And then Dr. Afra, number four, sick covers. Bounty Hunters, number one. I think this is the third print. Yep. Bounty Hunters, number five. Bounty Hunter number six. So five. Hey, uh, Pete, need, Pete needs Hulk 340 if you guys have a, have a buy it now on that. For 340? I can check that out. All right, starting line and timer are hot. Kim, did you get that Bounty Hunter? Uh, the action figure variant, the number six, number six. You're muted. You're muted. I would have to check my stock. I can check it, but because I think it, I think it was Zuckus. I think is who's the guy on the. I think that's right. I got Star Wars number six like that. You mean this one? Like no, that? Bounty, no, it was Bounty Hunters. Bounty Hunters. Yep. Yeah, I would have to look for that one. All right. <clears throat> Bounty Hunters is, is heating up. That, that's there are a lot of... A lot of folks that I chat with that are way into it, and it was like I, I'm reading too many things to hop in there. Yeah, I don't like a lot of Star Wars, but I mean, Bounty Hunters, an awesome read. Like, it's it's something else. Speaking of something else, everybody knows who the last Ronin is, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got more goodies, guys. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Donatello, right? <laughs> no, it's, it's, just joking. Uh, it's the hit. You know, honestly, honestly, I would have been happy if they wouldn't had ever said who it was. Like, it would just be a mystery. That would be way dope. And so you can kind of make your own decision. That'd be pretty cool. That's what I thought they were going to do. At this at 25. Who is They were smart. Dude. And then April. It's Leonardo, bro. It's Leonardo. Just go out and read it. And then oh. April opened her big mouth. I only have one copy. I don't want to mess it up. If I get a second one, I'll read it. Read it online. This is the one in 25 for number seven. Nice. And you're building yourself up for something nice. All right, we got 30 seconds left on the clock. All right, have a good night, Matthew. Good night, Papa Tony. Willie. We'll let you know if you win the uh, giveaway. Good night, Pop. This is some sick, like, real, real detail on the cover. All right, that that was the timer, and no love right. for the Star Wars. Yeah, I think Star Wars got too too much because, love tonight. Because Star Trek <laughs> is better. That's why. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coming up next is Jay Wanabob. Okay, I asked the chat, and I listened. Uh oh. So, y'all want to see? 
I was told symbiote Spider Man. So, right. wow, two sixty nine. Just looks pretty clean to me. Nice, beautiful copy. Two sixty six. Two sixty four, two sixty three, two fifty seven, fifty five, fifty three, and a web of Spider Man number one. Nice, right? We're going to start right there. And every every seven dollars will add a book. What are you starting at? Seven bucks. All right. If, if these weren't really, really good copies, I'd be cheaper. But there's your starting line and your timer starting now. I mean, as you can see, these are really good copies. And that wrinkles off the bag, sorry. I'll put it in a fresh bag if anybody picks it up. These fans. Yeah. This is the last one to go in. Damn! What 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 uh, what price? It's seven dollars a book, man. I gotta hit my calculator. I gotta hit my calculator up. I gotta consult my calculator. Fifty-six dollars. Math magician. Eight yep. times seven. Fifty-six, and I'm not going to tell you that some of those are keys, but some of those are keys. I regret selling my Web of Spider-Man number one. I have a very, very minty one. Some of them first, some of them covers are just unbelievable. Fifty-six would be the starting bid for the whole lot. Yes, people. <laughs> We got a little over a minute. Pete's asking what, what condition that Web that? of Spider-Man is. Uh, J1. Um, honest to God, man, the Web of Spider-Man, I'd give it a just, BG+. Plus. Just looking at it here, it's like, what, 9094 maybe? I would yeah, I would, I would put that into very plus. fine VF+. Plus. Would you? Okay. It is um, but, you know, J1, you're closer to it than us. It, just from here, it looks like a 9.0 or better, but it could be less. There's things we can't see that you could see. You know what I mean? These are all really books. beautiful books. Everything's bigger under the clothes, if you know what I mean. Do a spine <laughs> slide. On. Web, web of Spider-Man. Yeah, the first one's all that people care about. <laughs> Unfortunately, the staple is the the bad one after oh, that. Oh shit! Is that me? There you go, poser. Poser, you god damn it! I didn't push anything. Jesus Christ! It's just God in heaven. Technology became <laughs> self aware. Oh yeah. So that's what would staples. you say, J one? What would you say the grade was, J one? Like I said, it's probably an eight five, maybe a nine. All right. I think yeah. the answer to that question is fifty six gets you all those books. That the first one started at seven, and you got Louis, Louis B. C. 
six. Yeah, it's a great deal. These books are fucking amazing. Yeah, I mean, man. Regardless First. of the grade, like as long as they're not just complete shit, like these are all really nice books. They present well. You got like these keys. It's a good deal. Not to spoil it, but there's three keys in there. Yeah, there are. All right, that's that's time. I'm putting in my end line now. So if you beat me, it'll stay alive. Can I have just another second? Because he asked what gets thrown in after. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. So. There was a sticker on this one that I didn't like. Anyways. So this is uh, Spider-Man 2099. And this is... This was in my CGC pile. This is beautiful. This would go in at 70. I could do 70. Now I'll give you a bonus minute. Oh, and no. at, yeah. And at what? At what, 400? <laughs> I, I was and at be, what? I was going to say, uh, I was going to say 375. These are all 98 candidates. Holy shit, dude. Damn. You're killing me. 375. I have well, like all three of these, but I want more of all Let these. me show you. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't have to pay my mortgage this month. <laughs> I can make it happen. I'll hurt. It'll hurt me, but I can do it, dude. I just, I just missed buying that lot by, I by like five dollars. J one, you know, you should sit on that. <laughs> I, I have a set of CGC right now, all newsstand. Thirty seconds left. Damn. Oh my god, I hate you. Yeah, dude, save that, save that, save that, like, all day. But, yeah, you know, I know, that price is not bad either. It's like one of those things, <clears throat> he'll sell it for that, but will somebody buy it? <laughs> yeah, it's a, the right it's a reasonable price. Yeah, I hear it's totally he needs 62 and 63, but already has two 361s. Who cares? All right, here comes your online. Bully BC gets it at $56. If you want any of the other add-on goodies, uh, chat with, with J1. So or if my, you want to A-OK -okay me. My PayPal is right here. Here's my IG. Hit me up. Whoa. Do it, do it. After the in line, but ooh, I think that you know, I think that's fair. You know, even you know, even if okay, say 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 Louis B C bought what he bought, Billy Stewart may want that extra those extra books you threw in. So sell it to sell it to Louis B C for fifty six, and then and then ask Billy Stewart if he wants to pick up the rest for later. That's fair. I think that's a good yeah. Good arrangement. So I'm fair with that. That's good. So, uh, Louis, here's my uh, IG. Here's my PayPal. I charge nine dollars shipping because my price went up. Sorry, but uh, it'll be sixty five to that, and I will get these sent off to you, sir. And um, Billy, Billy Stewart, chat with him. Yeah, yeah. Hit me on IG, man. It's right here. Wait, hold on. I'm missing my finger area right here. That's my IG. Hit me a message, and we can talk, man. Nice. All right, and because of that, I took you off the wheel because you sold some. Hey, I'm happy to be off the wheel. <laughs> I figured the Silver Age Action Comics would get me off the wheel. Oh, good job, Billy. All right, I'm going to do one of our giveaways now. Um, I'll show you who all's on the wheel, and then I'll let the sellers know that this will be the last round because i got to deal with teenagers 
in just about six hours and I need some sleep or somebody will die tomorrow. <laughs> so right now on the rigged wheel, I got Louis BC, Farron Johns, Barbarian Kung Fu, Deadpool's Comics, Comics on the Edge, Mr. Tatson Jr., Antonio Otero, Princess, Billy Stewart, Tony and Y Jr., Spooky, uh, HGM Law, Carlos Bola, Starscream 69, Pete, and Papa Wheelie. So I'm going to shuffle this puppy three times. One, two, three. And the winner of the full run of Superman Year One is Comics on the Edge. Nice. Congrats. Uh, comics on the Edge, if you're still poking Congrats, around here, yeah. I think the last thing I heard you say is that Squirrel Girl is is the best. Uh, hit me up on, on IG. If not, I'll reach out to you tomorrow. Um, I will put this in the background and bring on our Sleepy Time Lo-Fi. And then I'll show you the two things I've been plugging away at all night before we give our sellers their last round for the evening. And I'll say thank you to everybody who's hung with us through the, the long run. Uh, and everybody who's here now. So the two things that I have been plugging all night. Number one, if you have not pre-ordered your Justine Franny exclusive crossover variant, uh, it's limited to print run of 500. It is the trade dress and the virgin variant for $50 shipped. Uh, either let me know something in the chat or hit me up on Instagram. And then the second item is the, the poser pile, my first actual mystery box. It's $35 shipped. You're guaranteed at least the full value of the box back. So for uh, $28.87 plus shipping, you're getting uh, seven more bucks of books, and that's not including the value of the grand prizes in any of them. I've got 10 boxes. You all are hearing about them first, and then they are going live on Instagram tomorrow. All right. Uh, J1, you want to confirm that you got Louis BC's uh, payment or information? And we will pull up our next seller. Batman Pops, or what you got going on this round? All right. Uh, still buy it now. $45. Ship. These are all shipped. Then Ice Cream Man. 50 shipped. I got two separate lots. We'll start with the small one. Little. We'll go back to Death, death Metal number two. First appearance of Robin King. Robin 3000. And Robin King number one. We'll start this out at twenty dollars starting bid. All right. and Eighteen covers. We'll do. Uh, I'll start this at fifty starting starting bid. All right, so here comes your starting line for the death metal stuff at 20. And you said 50 on the timeless? Yep. 18. And your starting line for 18 of the timeless variants at 50 bucks. Uh, Barbarian, to answer your question, this is infinitely better than the get this shit out of my house box because I actually looked for uh, books that were worth uh, giving to people and I mean if you want some nudes uh, I'll, I'll send those to you as well 
Uh, but I actually tried to, to curate some things and make this a box with, with some purpose uh, and, and some thought to it instead of just piling shit in a box. Yeah, he would send you the needs, but he's got to get them out of his kids' room. So, that, yeah, <laughs> that's what I use all of our uh, what wireless nanny cam things for. <laughs> that was all the timeless. I'll show you this again. I know not everybody is like that thrilled about that second book, but I tied it in with being Robin, so. This is a first print. And so is that. Obviously, that just came out, I think, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'll put these one more time. I think I got 90 seconds on the timer. I think all that's left, I think all I'm missing out of this, out of all of them, uh, is the Fantastic Four. There was four of them. Uh, Spider Woman, and I think there's one more. I can't. Uh, Captain America. I like those timeless covers a lot. Yeah. I think I'm missing a human torch because it got dinged to shit in shipping and then Diamond did the, well, we'll just give you store credit to my LCS. Or, oh. I was like, well, it doesn't help me. Huh. 40 seconds on both of these lines. Oh, I don't have the human torch in here either. Well, you said stuff? you didn't have any of the Fantastic Four. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. There was four. There was four, of them. or was there five? I think. I think there were just four. The Richards is the thing. Yeah, Johnny and Sue Storm. Well, they didn't have Doc. They didn't have Doctor Doom. No. Okay. I don't think they've done Doom yet, and I haven't seen Namor. Well, I think they're done. I, they're done with the timeless. Now I thought. I'm going to have to look that up, because then we both got holes to fill. Yeah, because I thought last week was the last the last run of uh, Alex Ross Thomas, So, but I know. I'm, I think I'll be looking that up. All right, Pozo. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, thanks for yeah. everybody in the chat. Um, anybody who bought from me, just hit me up on IG. Dope. All right. Thank you so much. See you guys. All right. Good job, Batman. Thank you. Yep, yep. Yep, next, my guy. Damn. That is a clean logo, baby. All right. So I'm slapping in buy it now. So I'm just going to call all these like $20 buy it now. Uh, while I show these buy it now is at $20. Um, I have a Tricky's AOK -okay box that I will put together. And this Tricky's AOK -okay box is basically the shittiest books that I have available to me. $30 all in will get you, and you send me an address, will get you an AOK, -okay, anonymous AOK -okay to your, your favorite YouTube uh uh, show and tell personality that will show this AOK -okay to the, to their community, and they will get the most affordable books that they've ever received. Okay, so you know my buy it now is twenty dollars. What did I say? You said I, I thought it was thirty bucks. Thirty is great. Right. Okay, I'm gonna buy it now for thirty. I'm showing them away. So my tricky AOK -okay is thirty dollars all in. That's fifteen dollars for the books, fifteen dollars shipping. I will stuff a medium flat rate box full of books uh, that are the worst books that no one would ever want. And you can show them all, and I'll, I'll ship them anonymously and uh, your favorite YouTubers will, will open these box. I'll send any notes you want. 
uh, that will ship them. And I'm sorry, I'm drunk as fuck right now. Um, this is the first appearance of 2099. Uh, this is a 2009 starter lot. So Tricky Day, okay, $30 all in. I'll ship Anonymous, the worst books anyone's ever received. And they, they will unbox they them live them on YouTube. And you get to watch their faces, right? This is a new thing. I Why the hell would somebody to. send me something like this? Right. I think Yeah, they're going to open them and be like, what the fuck did I just open, right? <laughs> and you're going to watch their faces. So this is a this is also a $30 lot. Uh, I think this is the first comic appearance of a lot of people were from the Jedi because that's when they started. I got two Dark Empires. Uh, theirs are all uh, near mint copies. Um, I will say Return of the Jedi has some uh, ink you can't see on camera, but there's some ink things here going on with that book. This is also a new lot I haven't shown at $30. This I got King Conan in issue. And I got King Conan in a different issue that I'm too lazy and drunk to show you what issue it is. Conan the Barbarian. We got Conan the Barbarian 250. Must be must be something special going on there. We got Conan the Bar Barbarian 191. These are all really great covers. I would say they're all near mint. Uh, 200 issue 200 of Conan the Barbarian. Issue 199. Look at that. What's that villain's name? Do you guys know that villain's name? Frank. It's about me. Who? Frank. Frank. I got two issues of that. Coming to you. And then I got Cole, Cole the Barbarian. Some issues of that. Or Cole, Cole the Conqueror. Issues of that. All right. Um, so, Tricky's A-OK. -okay, $30 all in. I'll send you the word. I'll send. Give me the address. I'll send the worst A-OK. -okay anyone you want uh also you hit me with that wheel let's give this away right away all right hold on let me stop my timer so it doesn't i feel like i'm go like, off in the middle of the wheel all right here comes the wheel for tricky's homage art yeah uh, we got a deep bottom yeah. We'll shuffle. How many times do you want to shuffle it, Tricky? Just, just one. One shuffle, then spin. Boom. Why do people do more than one shuffle? I mean, uh -huh. are they crazy? Are they crazy? I feel like they're a little crazy. Mr. Taz. I've sold to Mr. Taz. I might have an... Uh, I think I sold to him tonight, so he will be getting this A-OK. -okay. Nice. Thanks, Appreciate you. All right, you got anything else you want us to know? Uh, yeah, Tricky Traps are on Instagram. You know, I draw a little. I post a little. You'll find me there. But I'm also on uh, Metaphorical's auctions. I will not be there this week, but I am on there often. Um, I have a YouTube channel. Um, you know, tell me what you need. DM me. I have a lot of books that I recently acquired that uh, have some really nice keys in it. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me on, uh, Poser. We should do this again sometime. Uh, I agree. You know, sometimes things don't work out the way they need to be, and we need a stand-in to help us uh, get through the week. And I appreciate you, man. Have a good yeah. one, and thanks, everyone. And check out that goddamn logo. Jesus Christ. It's not there no more. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's clean. That's clean. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cat 60 is up next. What you got for us in your final round, brother? I I'm gonna I'm gonna revisit this. Um, these are the two keys that I didn't sell in another lot. Um, Iron Man. 122 which is the origin of tony stark this isn't about a fine minus maybe and then this is the bigger one um um iron man 118 which is the first appearance of jane Rhodey rhodes um nice. he became war machine so which is kind of funny because war machine is like 280 or 27 283 or 282 or something but anyways um i want to start this at 20 dollars 
and this one's this one's in a fine plus condition so so that's a decent buck all right so iron man goodness starting at twenty dollars sort of like you're you're buying this and getting this for free yeah and actually great. you're getting this for you're getting this for under price yeah that's a great and getting this for price. free <laughs> I just like the falling out of the the helicopter, like, please let me get the suit. <laughs> and I got to buy it now, too. Um, this is uh, Venom 26, uh, 9.8 curtain um, signature series. I'm going to do 125 shipped. Nice. Two minutes left on the clock for some Iron Man goodness or buy it now. Signed, Kirkham. It's pretty I ironic that we heard the sirens and then H and then the law comes. Yeah. <laughs> HGM in at twenty on the Iron Man. What's up, HCM, man? I didn't see you come in. Yeah, that's a good pickup for sure. Oh, yeah. 90 seconds Definitely left on it. the clock. Yeah. What I should have done was slab this one. And put it with my other three slabs. I got the War Machine slabs. Yeah. <laughs> I think the only War Machine books I have are some of the Max War Machine 2.0 stuff. Mm. Yeah, I got the three. I got the three set. Uh, first appearance. Um, First cameo and the story, I guess. Nice. All right, we got 30 seconds left on the clock, but it looks like HGM Law is getting one book for underprice and one book for free. Cool. All right, we got about eight seconds left. What else you got going on this week, Cat Sixty? Yeah, I might have to visit the gay bar again. I don't know. <laughs> What's that? I want to take you to a gay bar. Gay bar. <laughs> My life's boring. Nobody else remembers like that song. Too. Yes, I do. <laughs> hey, um, go ahead and uh, spin me. All right. But uh, we're giving this away. Some goodness, black and white comics. How many times do you want to spin it there, Cat Sixty? Uh, sixty. Yeah, I'll <laughs> spin it uh six times. Six. <laughs> All right, and the winner of the black and white comics. Is Star Scream sixty nine? All right, man. Yeah. Nice. Hey, put put me back on real quick too. Star Scream, if you're still there, hit me up. Yeah, so I got the. These are um, two eighty one, two eighty two, and two eighty three. I'd sell these for one hundred and fifty bucks for all three slabs. It's the story of War Machine. No. So this this is really this is really the one that people want. This yeah. one's like stupid expensive. All right, if you are interested, hit him up on the backside. Next up is the collector's den. 
All right, what's up, y'all? I got another Jim Lila. What was that? Is that was, what you got? Oh, another Jim Lila, but this time it's DC. We got oh. some nice covers here. All oh, mint. I thought I was going to make it through tonight without spending money. Some Jim Lee goodness. Uh, I believe uh, 2018. And uh, that's the surprise right wow, there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Jim Lee. So uh, start off at 20 bucks. Um, for every dollar after that, I'll throw in some um, some variants. That's cool. And then uh, some Swamp Thing. All right, here comes your starting line. So $20 for the Jim Lee lot. Each dollar gets you another random book added. All DC. Except for the... Wildcats. Wildcats. Image. Boo. The Aquaman? Yay. Yeah, I don't like Aquaman. I'm a name. No, there's guy. another one. The Batman one. Be in here. Parker, you know you dress like Aquaman every Halloween. All the time. Uh, it's supposed to be Parker's a Batman HGM wants to know what you got up on the wall. Oh, we have uh, Thor, first appearance of the Warriors, I believe so. That's uh, 15. Bloodstone number one, first appearance of Elsa Bloodstone. That one I'll do 89. That's $10. Um, first print of Venom with the wings. And uh, this one. Um, this is Jim Lee also. This one I could do a uh, 30. And then that's uh, second Rocket Raccoon. 9.2. New stand. This one's 250. Beautiful case, beautiful condition. So yeah, there's a Batman one also, I'll find it, but they're all mint. Including the... Nice. That looks like me and my, my daughter right there. <laughs> Twenty bucks. If not, we got just under a minute left on the clock for some Jim Lee goodness. Really, we all know you're buying that Wildcats book and getting the rest of them for free. <laughs> You guys said you guys like Aquaman. I'll throw in this Aquaman also. Um, this variant. That is pretty oh. cool cover. That is pretty cool cover though. Yeah, it's one of those. Uh, 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 HGM wants to know what you had up your last round. You had some books that you put on the back middle shelf after you showed them. What were they? I'll uh, You know what? I'll get back to them. Um, Put them away. I'll check it out right now, though. All right, that's time, and I'll see if in my other window I can scroll back and see if I can find it, too. But that's that. Uh, collectors, where, where, when can people see and hear from you next? Uh, probably next auction. I'm only doing Sundays, but I'd like to thank you, Poser, for giving us the opportunity uh, to do this, and um, mm -hmm. I appreciate everybody that stopped by and that was in the chat. Love all you guys, and uh, thank you. Till next time, Collector's Den, out. All right. I think that moves us next to AMKM.
All right, guys. I got a little something. I mean, it's not the the one that everybody's looking for. You know, it's not the one that everybody sought after. But I still like the run. Uh, just cool little mini stories inside. So we're going to do the Tomb of Dracula, number one. And number two, we'll start this at 15 bucks. You got 13? Right. Do I have 13? Yeah. I think I have issue five, but I can't find it. And then some other more. I can look. But the other one, I think, uh, was not this one? Issue five, I think, if I'm not mistaken, has um, Frank Miller artwork. Oh, nice. those are the real ones. I I thought it was the other the other. Uh... Oh no, yeah, these are the old old the like the the yeah, magazine. Yeah, yes. Huh. Oh, uh, he's talking about the Canto lot collectors. Oh, uh, HGM, he, he dipped, so hit him up on uh, Instagram if you want. It's uh, Collector's Den 1. Yeah, I'll pull up them for you. There you go. We got just under two minutes left on the clock for some good old school magazine size Tomb of Dracula goodness. Uh, Matthew, I am asking myself that question too. I'm going to be a bitch to my classes in the morning. Uh, we got a $10 by me now for all three covers. Ooh, that's a good deal. Yeah. And then I did have this. Her, it's the one in ten. Oh. Nice. For, for Cantu number one, I can do this one for twenty. That's the turtles one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, the turtle homage. All right, we got 45 seconds left. You got Tomb of Dracula, one and two up for 15 bucks. You got Canto, or the Turtles Homage variant. Buy it now for 20. And you got uh, Spawn, the A, B, and C covers for what, 311 for 10 bucks. Mm hmm. Oh, I also did have Robotech. Robotech for ten bucks. Uh, Keith wants to know if that's the air print Canto. No, um, I we did sell our air print Canto, and then this one um, is the one that Diamond replaced for the air. No, this is the second one that they replaced. It's still, it's still number one. It's the a technical first print, I guess. All right, that was the timer. So if you want any of those things, hit up oh. AMKM Comics on the Instagram. Thank you, guys. Where and when can we see you next? Uh, on the Sunday talk show. And um, I'll be helping out AM with the auctions Monday through Friday. And... Yeah, man. Um, I wish I can join you guys more often, but I have a a newborn baby, so you know how it is when that happens. You know, a little extra time with the wife. And yep. <laughs> but then, yeah, let's see. I'm the one in the back while Shadow's getting all the books. <laughs> You're getting your steps in, and check out AMKM's website. I have picked up so many dope ass things. 
since I've gotten to know them the last couple of months that I can't find here here in Dead Center, Kansas. So if you got a free hour on your hands, just scroll through the website and you will find some gems. I promise you that. Uh, so, thanks, Walter. Yeah. Have a good night. And, and closing us out, the man to my south, J1 above. What you got for us to shut her down? All right. I'm going to let the, the chat pick. Um, I have the new Transformers, number one, Galaxy Con Edition with COA signed by Jeff Edwards. I can either do that. I can do an Avengers 24. I can do an Iron Man 120. This is my extra copy. Ooh. This is a first appearance of Justin Hammer. I can do a Taskmaster. Of Taskmaster. Or I can do a Venom One Lot, which would be cover A. Fourth print. Fifth print. And one in one hundred. Say it in chat. Come on. Which one you want? I'll auction whichever one you want. And the chat goes quiet. Yeah. All right, pick uh, Venom and Taskmaster is what Pete says. So if you want to run two auctions like two other folks have, I can do that for you. Okay. Well, let me show you the Taskmaster. This has a tick right there. This is a newsstand. It has a little tick right here. My guess, this was in my CGC file. My guess is this is about a 9294, maybe a 96 in its reality. Okay, and what then, do you want to start the Taskmaster at? Yep, and I'm going to start that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to start both of these at 100. All right, there you go. Both starting lines are live. That one in one hundred on the Venom number one is beautiful. Yes, sir. And. Yeah, I'm still intrigued to see what what they will do with Taskmaster in the Black Widow movie. I want to see <laughs> what he looks like. We got, got a on, uh, Baron Johns for the Taskmaster. Yep. And it's a it's a beautiful book, bud. Beautiful. Night Comics on the Edge. Thanks for using us as some background music. Uh, Pete wants to see the Venoms again. Oh, yeah. So the 1 in 100, I'm going to show you. It has a little crease at the bottom left corner, but I'm going to press it out. I didn't even know it was there until I saw it. It has a little crease. Right there. It doesn't color break. It's just a plastic bag, but that right there. But I'll press that out.
Yeah, it's a nice book. They're getting hard to find. And then... Fifth print. No spine ticks, no tears, no creases, no nothing. Fourth print. All right, we got 30 seconds left on the clock. First print. <clears throat> yeah, it's a really good lot. That is the timer. Pete, if you're interested, hit say it now. Give a few seconds to see if Pete says anything. If not, you can hit up J1 Bob on the Instagram. Oh, hey. Where did I put it? Oh, hey. I have a buy it now. Why not? Last one. Nice. Nine oh white pages. Uh, this book is just getting hotter and hotter and hotter. But I would uh it is a new stand. New stand? And I would take uh two seventy five shipped on that. All right, so if you are interested in the Venom or the Sweet, Sweet, Sweet Moon Knight book, then hit up our guy, J1. Yeah, Keith, I've been keeping an eye on it in uh, <clears throat> my YouTube window. Um, sorry, this is not the first Moon Knight. This is the first solo Moon Knight story. Yeah. It's Marvel Spotlight, number 28. First Moon Knight goes for a lot more than I know. Yeah. And especially after the show, yeah. the casting announcement. Yes. A good pickup on that. Yeah. That's a good book. All right. J1, where and when can the fine, fine <clears throat> people of the YouTubes see you again? Oh. Here. Hold on. Nowhere, apparently. Yeah, like how you tried to look at you and turn the camera and your internet was like, mm-mm. Yes, that's exactly what happened, too. Uh, <laughs> well, I, uh, I, I don't really sell anywhere other than on Metaphoricals auctions. Uh, I usually sell on every Wednesday and on some Fridays. Like this coming week, I'll probably be on Wednesday and Friday. But, um, yeah, I work a nine to five, so this is, this is just hobby. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Farhan, if you would hit me up on, uh, IG, it'd be a uh, one Oh nine altogether. Uh, thank you for having this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Puzzle. This is awesome, man. It was fun. It was a good time. Yeah, I figure I'll bring us all on instead of making myself huge. So, thanks yeah, we for did that. have a good old time, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah appreciate it. If y'all want to, because I know Meta's been busy the last two weeks, that if you ever need a substitute teacher, uh, I can mentally prepare myself for some more banter and shit like that uh, <laughs> during the auctions. But 
uh, we had, you know, a good number of people dip in and out throughout that we started a little slow, but I'm guessing it's because there were three other auctions going on, but I'm, I'm down for doing this again, so I appreciate y'all giving me some uh, viewing hours. Uh, in terms of my world, uh, I am taking this week off again from Meta's auction only because I've got a crazy week at school that I've got, we've got a huge tournament that I got to prep kids for this week. Uh, so I'll probably be back on my normal Mondays the week after. But like I said, I've got these mystery boxes that I'm getting ready to hawk and then I'm dropping content every day that you will probably see me record my uh, pick of the weeks video from my classroom tomorrow in addition to my pull list video since uh, I ended up doing this with you all fine people tonight. But I've enjoyed it. You can find my stuff every week. Uh, I passed through 500 subscribers last night, which means if you look at the video that is pinned to my page, my 500 subscriber giveaway will cut off next Sunday at 5 p.m. Central. Uh, and like I said at the beginning of this, I got like 15 different things that I'm giving away from slabs to figurines to Funko mystery boxes to a comic mystery box. Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff and I will let everybody know when the extravaganza is scheduled for uh, because I'll, I'll go live for a while and anybody who wants to hop in and shoot the shit for a while can do so. But I've had an enjoyable night. I'm going to go pass the F out and help I don't sleep through my alarm. So maybe we'll, we'll chat in the background and see if we do this again in the future. And as always, thanks for stopping by and have a good one.